It's a bit smoother. I think we're okay. Right. Ooh, it's a bit choppy, isn't it? It's perfectly smooth in game. Like butter. Holy shit. That's really smooth. Okay. Thank you, Scurzo. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Hang on a second. I'm just going to mess with the volume. Uh, turn that down to around about there. Right. Um, so, uh, yes, chat. So, how smooth... Is, if I just hold down the button to just let it spin, how is that for you? Is that... Is that choppy? It looks okay. I think we're okay. I dropped down the sharpening a little bit, and I dropped the bit rate a tad, and I also switched it from the graphics card um, encoder back to the processor. So when I was doing it on VR, I put it on the graphics card. Perhaps this game is particularly graphics card heavy? Maybe? Thank you, Toby. Thank you very much, Toby. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Hell, I remember when I first bought this game, it just you know, I had a pretty good PC back in the day, and, and it, it just could not run this effectively. It just tanked. It was ridiculous. Right, okay. Um, welcome, everyone. Welcome indeed. I hope you've had a nice start to your week. Over here, things have been pretty damn good, actually. I've been able to stay focused on the latest edit for the bullshittery um, all day, really. It was good. Um, I spent... Pretty much the entire day, hunched over a drawing tablet, um, sort of making some assets. I, I, I was uh, drawing some assets that I'm going to send over to some some artists to do it properly. Uh, I was just doing my, you know, my shitty, <laughs> my shitty scribbles. Um, but yeah, what, once I've sent over these scribbles to the artist, then they know what I want, and then then it can be done properly by them, and hopefully finished before the bullshittery gets, uh, you know gets near the end. But um, for those who are not familiar, uh, I'm working on Rising Storm Vietnam Bullshittery Part 2. It is the end of editing day 11 out of an expected 20. So I'm over the halfway point and I'm trying my best to get this episode done within the next two weeks. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, thank you Chaotic and Toby and Dynamite and Bayer and Scurzo and Loki. Thank you sincerely folks. Thank you. Right. Ah, coffee. So yes, how is everybody? Holy shit, that day went so quickly. It feels like I've barely been gone. How are you all okay? How, how are you all okay? How are you all? Are you all okay? I'll be fine, just need coffee. It's been a long day. Well, actually it hasn't, it's been a short day. Right. That coffee is incredibly weak. Oh dear. Vito is good. Still alive, says Zork uh, Zorkser. Zorko even. Birdie is okay. Yeah, all good here, Birdie. Thank you, Fire Spack. Thank you very much, Fire. Thank you. Right. When have I played this game? Uh, quite a bit, Horizon, over the last several years. Okay. In quarantine, Damry. Seriously? Or, like, you know, self-isolation just because you don't want to catch it. Right. Hold on. Uh, Sir Wei says, packing your last stuff to get ready to go on a cruise... Oh, sorry, on a ship. He didn't say cruise ship. For four weeks. Is that wise? Hopefully there's not too many people on the ship, Sir Wei. Thank you, Snow Gecko. Thank you very much, Snow. Holy shit, you're in Italy, Damry. Oh, Jesus. Well, all the best to you. I hope you, uh, hope you stay safe. Thank you, Milobi. Thank you very much, Milobi. Thank you. Hmm. I have uh, Daedalus. I've, uh, I've, hopefully it's working. Uh, all the colours look different. And the jump gates look like jump blobs. Hmm. Do I have a Discord server? I'm afraid not, Magnum. Or, or rather, I think I think some fans put one together, but I don't know who's on it or, or what they do. <laughs> so, well, they do. They sacrifice goats. Wouldn't surprise me, knowing this audience. But, um, yeah, I, I don't have Discord personally, is what I'm saying. Okay. Thank you, Smelliest. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> right. 
Ooh, congratulations, Plug. Plug is going to be an uncle. Nice. Well done. Your siblings have been shagging. Thank you, Chaos. Thank you very much, Chaos. Thank you. Mm. Let's be honest, it's probably a Discord dedicated to Lulu. Wouldn't surprise me, frankly. Would not surprise me. She is the star of the show, after all. I mean, look at her. Yeah, she's good. She went out for her um, W word, and she had fun. She had playtime. She got to hang out with the uh, dogs, the dog sitter's dog that she really likes. She's got a doggy best friend. Thank you, Smelliest. Thank you very much, Smelliest. Thank you. Indeed. <clears throat> She's at peace. Nice and calm. Right, okay. All the St. Patrick's Day parades in Ireland have been cancelled. Indeed, yeah. It does suck, but, you know, at the same time, it's, that probably does make sense, really. Is it... Is it now, now is probably not the time, you know, for big, big events. There will be next year, you know. Let's let this, um, let this horror show go, get past us first, eh? Thank you, Shadow. Thank you very much, Shadow. <clears throat> okay. Am I afraid of Corona, uh, Lord Arun? I'm concerned, I think, along with the rest of the citizens of the UK. Um, yeah, concerned and trying my best to do what I can personally which is avoid unnecessary social gatherings which isn't a problem for me personally but my sympathies to the people who you know, are struggling with it thank you I phrase, thank you very much I phrase thank you, and bacon thank you bacon, thank you very much ah. <clears throat> sorry I'm just sipping this coffee I'll get started in a minute Thank you, Leprous. Thank you very much, Leprous. Thank you. And Hubler. Thank you very much, Hubler. Ah. Turn the camera around. You can see all the loo roll and pasta that I've bought. Um, so it was mostly rice, to be honest. And um... <laughs> Right, so... Um, okay, don't laugh. Um, so I... Okay, I'll, I'll just show it to you. Hang on. Right. So I go to the supermarket and I pick up some ten, tins of vegetables and, you know, long-lasting things. Um, so evaporated milk is what I needed to buy. Evaporated milk. So milk that has had the water content stripped from it uh, and therefore it can serve as, well, all the things that you typically use milk for, at least when it comes to things like baking. Um, did I pick up evaporated milk? Uh, did I pick up uh, like eight or nine tins of evap evaporated milk? No. No, I happened to pick the condensed milk. Which is the extremely sweetened version for like desserts, like flat, you know, like um, fucking brownies and shit like that. So, um, whoops. Uh, yeah, this is like the really sickly sweet. Yeah, like <laughs> ingredients, sugar. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> whoops. <clears throat> well, okay. Let's just hope I don't have to dip into that, eh? Eight tins. How many tins? Hang on. Well, I, 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 I wasn't panic buying. I was preparing by purchasing large quantities of, of non-perishable food in a panic. Um, one, hang on. One, two, three. Sorry, I exaggerated. Five, five tins of condensed milk. Um, and then some just rice and veggies and stuff. Just, you know, just, just dried food. You know, down here. It's not panic buying. It's fine. Thank you, Tricky. Thank you very much, Tricky. Thank you. I can dilute it with water. We used to do this in your childhood, says so the beer. Tastes like shit. <laughs> but, but no instant diabetes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm always, almost finished with this coffee. So yes, for the people just joining the stream, welcome indeed. A quick too long didn't read. I'm working on the latest bullshittery project for YouTube. It's uh, on, on day 11, so work day 11, out of about 20 that I've scheduled for this project. So Rising Storm Vietnam Bullshittery Part 2, as voted for by my patrons and Twitch subs. And um, also, please know that, uh, yeah, so just before this project, I was working on an unrelated side project that, um, yeah, I spent like two and a half weeks on, on some other thing. Um, it, it is a bullshittery, but it's 
Oh my god, it's huge. Um, phrasing. Uh, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it done, but, but fucking hell, I've got a newfound respect for animators because fuck, it's really hard work. It's really, really hard work, guys. Thank you, Walker and Blackstorm and Hiroto. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, what is huge? Uh, Formiga. It's um, it's Dungeons and Dragons bullshittery. So if ever you've played Dungeons and Dragons, you know that you play it with your imagination. Um, there is there is no game footage, so I had to make a well. I'm trying um, to make a make a cartoon. It's it's really it's not easy. It's not easy. I'm trying my best, but it's it's really really hard, really hard. Um, yeah, definitely the toughest thing I've done. But anyway, persevering, persevering. Oh. Thank you, Flyboy. Thank you very much, sir. Insert saying your name wrong again. Indeed, Fly Eight Oi. <laughs> Thank you, Flyboy. Thank you. <clears throat> Absolutely, Formiga. It's it's really, I'm, 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 and technically, I'm not even doing like say true animation. You know, like um cartoon, like a traditional cartoon. I'm totally cheating. Um, I'm like, animating static images. But it's um. Yeah, it's tricky. Thank you, Quiet Do Ye. Thank you very much, Quiet. Thank you. Right, just polishing that off. Hello, cutie. You a good girl? Quick belly rub? Okay. Right. Okay then. Um, let's see how I do now then. So, welcome indeed to X3 Albion Prelude. Um, you might not be familiar with X3, some of the people in the chat. It's a bit of an awkward game. I would perhaps recommend not rushing out and purchasing it just because, oh, like, oh, space game, you know? Oh, it's like Freelancer. Um, you know, or something more recent because I'm old. But um, yeah, effectively, it's a space exploration, trading, mission type game, but it's on steroids. Um, effectively, the devs made a sort of giant aquarium uh, full of, pl well, not full of planets, but yeah, there are planets, I'm orbiting one now, but, um, you know, full of space stations and uh, factions and militaries, and they're all doing their own thing. So effectively, it's a big simulated universe, a very real simulated universe in the, in the fact that ships come and go and they, they have a start point and an end point. You know, they have an owner, they have corporations that ply their trade. It's pretty impressive, actually. Um, it does have a lot of jank, like a lot of jank. Um, yeah, to the point that <clears throat> it's, it's, yeah, it's a bit, oh my god. But, um, yeah, if you can get over the, the, the fact that the difficulty curve is a brick wall, it's less of a curve, it's more just a, a, a vertical line of, oh my fucking god. If you can get over that hump, it's pretty good. Um, but anyway, I'm now starting at the very, very bottom of that hump. <laughs> this is a fresh playthrough, so... Ah, where's my mouse? Hang on, there it is. Right, so welcome indeed to the fresh playthrough. So, I'm sitting here in the cockpit of my... What the fuck is this? This looks like a... So it's a Pegasus Raider. So this is a very fast-moving M5 vessel, I believe. Pegasus Raider M5. Yes, yeah, so this is a fast-moving scout with a couple of one mega dual shields. Jesus. Being run by a 12-volt battery, I imagine. Impulse ray emitters. Good lord. We might as well just open up the window and fling like pieces of rock at them for all the damage this is going to do. Thank you, angry Scottish man and Freddy. Thank you. Okay, also the dog has farted and that's horrendous. What about my inventory? I have a single duplex. That's it? My god. My god, my god. And I've got 18,000 credits. <laughs> I'm not, okay, <laughs> so this is like one step up from a spacesuit, everybody. Like literally just drifting through space with ne next to no means of propulsion. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is the very bottom. 
Oh, I should be thankful that I've got a gun, at least, or four of them. Okay, so, what's my first step? Uh, so here we are orbiting Argon Prime, which is the capital uh, city, capital planet, for the humans of Argon. Um, so, what we're going to do is we best start exploring then. So, I'm going to look around for any missions that we can do to get this ball rolling. Maybe the first better task would be to just dock so I can save it before I get hilariously murdered by like the first pirate that I encounter with an actual gun. Argon, large orbital weapons platform. I can't dock with that. Let's find something better. Um, where's the shipyard? It's beneath me. Whee! Well, at least we're quick. 136 meters per second, and we can certainly upgrade that. This is presumably not upgraded. Okay. Try scavenging missiles and other debris from conflict zones. <laughs> <laughs> with that low. Okay, I've never stooped that low, shit stormtrooper. We we collect we're collecting the literal refuse <laughs> of other factions. Oh my god. Um what's that wobbling? Is that an audio bug or is that intentional? Anyway. Yeah, so this is this is pretty low insofar as lows goes. This is low lows goes? Lows go. This is pretty low. So the first thing I'm going to do is just dock with this uh, Argon shipyard. Then I'm going to just do a few laps, look for some missions that we could potentially do. They should still be scaled to my level. So it'd be like, kill this homeless man or something. I don't, I don't know what would be scaled to my level. Homeless man with a broken bottle. Thank you, Ralph Poole. Thank you very much. <laughs> he doesn't even have a ship. He's just floating. Just, you know, like, come at me. How, much, how many credits do you get? Two. Federal Argo docking granted. Autopilot activated. Ha! So yes, you heard this game was really easy to get into. Is it true or were you lied to and it's utterly impenetrable? Ah. It's impenetrable. Sorry, for the people just joining the chat who have no idea what they're talking about, it's become a bit of a this chat specific meme. I kept calling this game impenetrable. In fact, I think somebody made a compilation of all the times I called this game impenetrable and for crazy German accountants, effectively. Like on like the the thirty fifth yeah the fifty times I said it was it's impen it is it's freaking it's a nightmare this game's a nightmare avoid but at the same time don't avoid but also avoid you know what you'll see you'll fucking you can watch the you can watch the damn game you can decide if it's for you right Woo. is X four still a shit show slash dying no idea Maxi I saw X rebirth and I went Rrr! and jumped the fuck away from that shit. Um, so I have no clue. I'm just, I'm just hanging out in X3. Can I spin the camera that way? Yes, I can. Yes, that being said, this game is a hell of an addiction risk, or compulsion risk, or whatever. Um, it is very, very absorbing. Once you get your corporation going, uh, to tweak and tug at the, uh, the strings of this virtual aquarium... Uh, so in the last playthrough, I had a catering company, that, a, a, a Paranid ca catering company that was providing delicious and nutritious foodstuffs to Paranid Space. In the playthrough before that, I had an arms dealing corporation at a place called Hatigva's Faith, which is a pirate zone which I took over, and then massively overpopulated with my own factories and trade ships until my frame rate tanked <laughs> every time I tried to just go home. That was silly. What's the objective of this game? That is a good question, Lazy, because this mod that I'm playing, the one that I've just installed, has given it a final objective, something that the sandbox typically didn't really kind of have. The final objective takes two forms, according to the wiki of the LitCube mod, and it takes the form of a competing corporation called... I've already forgotten. Something. It had, like, a really cutesy name. Sounds like a, like a, like the manufacturing plushies or something. It was really, like, really? Um, anyway, but, um, yeah, so some competing corporation is out to get me. And also the Xenon, or at least some faction of the Xenon, who are basically just robots, uh, are now way more aggressive. Apparently, they're going to start taking over the universe, and you've got to properly, you know, man the frickin' barricades. The Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. To okay, whoops. Hang on a second, that's a dog. I just want to have a look at something. Just to make sure. Yes, it's fine. Cool. Oh, you found an axolotl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's lazy. Look at her. 
She's comfy though. Comfy dog. Hmm. <laughs> right. Okay then. So. Now then, uh, let's just have a quick look at the map screen. We do indeed have a mission being offered by this guy over here. Don't care. Automated computer. Right, so let's fly over here and see if this is something that we can do. Uh, to be honest, the missions around Argon Prime might be a bit crap. Or we might have a situation where the local police forces deal with whatever pirates I'm sent to kill. Which means I don't get the, I don't get the reward. So we'll see. Right. Artificial fertilizer factory Artif alpha. Artificial fertilizer. Hmm. I'm not familiar with that. Okay. Maybe it's new for this mod. Thank you, Viper. Thank you very much, Viper. Thank you. Right. I'm just going to use the setter module to speed up the time to fly uh, 25 kilometers. Ooh. What the fuck? Would, what did I just do? Oh, is that, that, is that just the sound when you switch off setter? Hmm. Um, species, Axolotl. Well, right now it looks like we're Argon. I didn't seem to get a choice. You are talking to the automated inter- Spit it out, pilot! Do you have a job? Right on time. I've got a lead you might like to pick up on. Encoding data for transmission. Easy mission. Now. 648 credits? That's it? Good lord! Okay. A jump drive costs 100 grand. Uh, okay, we're going to be here a while, I think. Um, fly to Cloud Base North. It's just a basic patrol exploration. Fine. Patrol Argon Prime. So, presumably we're going to get jumped and we'll get rewarded if we get some kills. Where's Cloud Base, whatever it is? Do I have mission guidance active? I do. So, just patrol this sector for a bit. I imagine some pirates are going to jump in. Um... We're going to try and get them before the police do. Yes, so bear in mind that in the playthrough that I was doing this morning, the continuation of, of a playthrough that I had for a while, the catering company, I was making tens of millions of credits per, you know, every well, every few, every hour or so. Thank you, Camuff. Thank you very much, Camuff. Thank you. Right, speed up time. At least we're quick. Any pirates over here by this gate? Nope. And if there were, the Argon military would probably squash them. Check missions. Okay, patrol Argon Prime. Uh, pilot status. Uh, message log. Okay. Hang on. Thank you, Dr. Luck and Free Quest. Thank you kindly. Thank you. And D-Gens. Thank you, D-Gens. Thank you, all of you. <laughs> Much appreciated, DJs. Welcome indeed. Thank you for the compliments. You too, Doctor. Oop. Oh no, have I done goofed? Uh, mission... Fly to Ringo Moon. I'm guessing the pirate here has been killed by local police. Probably get like a message saying, You failed to kill them! Blah! Yeah, so this is the trouble. When you've got like a core world like this, you'll never get to the, the pirates you're supposed to kill. Also, why are the gates blobs? What's this about? This is supposed to be like a solid metal... Oh! Is it because traders kept crashing into them? That's probably why. <laughs> yeah. So the jump gates are now jump blobs. No metal bits for the traders to go... <laughs> that happened quite a lot. Right. Whee! Let's fly into the jump blob. Can you go down onto planets? Not, not in this game, sadly. So this one's all about the space, you know, trading stuff. Uh, the planets have billions of people on them, but it's uh, not really relevant. Entering system, Ringo Moon. Uh, patrol Ringo Moon. Okay, not a problem. Very green. It's like fart gas in here. Lulu must have been here. Right, okay. Patrol Ringo Moon. <sighs> At the same time, the presence of the police is probably helpful. At my current level, it's not as if I'll be able to do much. Insofar as combat effective... Oh, hello. Xenon? 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 I beg your pardon. Here. Xenon N. Okay, hello. Seven kilometers. I feel very not ready for this. Hang on. 
Is there not? Do I have a targeting? Please tell me I've got like a basic targeting computer. Oh, the interface is all weird. Is now in oh my god, my weapons are pants. What the, what the fuck are you? <laughs> a fucking Xenon! That's like, that's like the fucking Borg in terms of threat. I, I didn't stand a chance. Good lord, I was a bug on its, on its windscreen there. Well, that was quick. Um, Jesus. Thank you, Nizeth. Thank you very much, Nizeth. Yes, the Xenon are basically, uh, like, terraforming robots that went, yeah, and decided to, like, not terraform anymore and, and go off and, like, murder humans or whatever. Well, they, they, they normally keep to themselves. They're like a mysterious, like, like, like the Geth, basically. They're the Geth. They're just the Geth. Um, okay. Um, that sucked. Hold up. Is that mission just too much for us? So we're back to the damn station. So effectively, in universe, I just died for 648 credits. What was that 648 credits? That's pretty bad. Right. Um, maybe we shouldn't do that mission. Unless we just like train the Zen. Yeah, no, we might be able to outrun it. Artificial fertility. You are talking to the spit it out. Right on time. Encoding data for transmission. Uh, take now, part in patrol. All right. We'll we'll simply try and train the fighters into like local space patrols because we clearly can't take them. Is it as good as Freelancer? Yes, I'd say it's better. Freelancer um had a little bit of the economy type thing, the buying and the selling, but nothing to this degree. Uh, obviously, Freelancer was was primarily about its story, wasn't it? It was a uh, Quite an interesting story, in fact. Um, but, uh, you know, you could do some buying and selling, but it was, wasn't to this degree. This, for example, like, see all, all of these blips? I mean, I, this is just one section of space. There are hundreds of these uh, sectors, and all of these are stations. You can't even see what's here because I can't scan them yet, but I will. We've got corporate ships, civilians, military, police. Uh, all the different corporations have their own assets flying around in the hundreds. Okay, the Xenon N was going at 600, sorry, 340 meters per second. <laughs> well, we're just going to we're just gonna have to be optimistic, Daedalus. Thank you, Dingle Buzz. Thank you very much, Dingle. And good lord, Honey Bunny, that fart is horrendous. S smelly dog. I should have got a should have got a golden retriever. Hmm. You can dig in my sofa now. Hmm. Hang on, I'm just going to deal with the dog situation. Situation dealt with. Problem overcome. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Hello. <laughs> She's up against my leg. Right. <sighs> Thank you, Paint04. Thank you very much, Paint. Thank you. Where was I? I was flying towards this gate. Uh, we're just patrolling space, looking for any targets. Oh, God, that really smells, honey. I'm so sorry. That What is in your bum? Can I turn the damn aircon on? Hang on. Jesus. Have you eaten a snail or something, Sweet Pea? That is really bad. Hmm? I love you, honey, but you stink. Ah, <sighs> Frenchies. Right, okay. Uh, so no enemies at this jump point. Let's move over here. Could be over to the west. They tend to come in on the jump gates. Thank you, delightful punk. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Oh, there we go. So, whatever target here has presumably, yeah, presumably been eliminated. Ringo Moon. So we'll jump straight to Ringo Moon. For the people just joining the stream, welcome indeed. I hope you're having a lovely day today. Uh, too long didn't read. I'm on day 11 out of 20 for Rising Storm Vietnam Bullshittery Part 2. Okay. Dinkle is playing Holdfast, is he? 
Yeah, I think he like plays some other like proper games, doesn't he? I'm not familiar with it, uh, Qui-Gon. Right, so we're here in Ringo Moon. Let's fly straight towards what looks like an Argon Mammoth over there. Might be a Titan for protection. So we're going to fly this way and see if the Xenon gate's in. So we're just moving through this sector looking for anything... Ooh, that looks cool. What is that? Argon military Mandalay. Mandalay? Have I seen one of these before? Is that new? I don't recognise that. What class? It's an M7. That's a frigate. Oh, is that the new type? Ah. Okay. Experimental class. Ooh. Okay, uh, so we've got Kahuna Bakeries, cattle ranches here at Ringo Moon. So, foodstuffs, basically. Cattle. Uh, mid medium stock. I can't interface with their trade thing because I can't actually afford it. Oh my god, honey! Jesus! Oh, that is really bad! That stinks! <laughs> that is so... It's an, it stings the nose! That fart is that bad! Oh, honey. Are you feeling okay? Oh, that's so bad, folks. That's a really stinky fart. <laughs> oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ripperello. Thank you very much, Ripperello. Thank you. Oh, good lord. I hope her belly's okay. Oh, yay! We did, the <laughs> did we do the mission? Fly to Cloud Base Northwest, which would be uh, that way, I guess. Base yeah. Northwest. Okay. <sighs> Hi there, Messi. Indeed, new start with a big mod overhaul pack thing. Um, and this is as as I I think this is as low as I've ever started. This ship is like one step above above a bicycle. Frankly, I'm not even exaggerating. This thing's a giant pile of wank, and like this, a, a stiff breeze is going to blow it up. And how much money do I have uh, in the corp? Well, the, my my player kitty, like sixteen thousand or something. Like if I, <laughs> I don't even have enough money to repair the ship. If, if the ship gets damaged, I can't afford to repair it, and I, I'm 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 gonna have to actually get out of the ship and fix it myself with a welding tool. It's gonna take ages. Okay. Right, so let's uh let's fly this way. Speed is my only asset, but if we're really facing Xenon, they're no good god. Okay. That looks different. There's, there's way there used to be only three green bricks to indicate a build mission. Now there's loads. So I'm just Oh, hello been scanned by the military by the police I assume the Argon police making sure that I don't have any illegal goods aboard such as VHS tapes pirated ones we scanned your ship and didn't find any illegal goods on board thank you for your cooperation Hooray! good good they didn't find the space weed Okay, so let's keep drifting through space. Do I still have the mission? I do. Patrol Cloud Base Northwest. Is this Cloud Base Northwest? Yes. We're here. Alright. La dee da dee da dee da. Incoming. <laughs> so there we go. So every, so other other you know corporate assets or police did the mission for us, effectively. Incoming. Patrol complete. No enemy ships were eliminated still. We will pay you 116 credits. For my time. <laughs> I have 18,116 credits. Yay. Yay. Dumbfire missile production. Do you have a mission? What's fighting you? 
Uh, no, I'm going to save first because 116, no, 116 credits, folks. You know, I could lose it. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. So let's dock here with the station and save it just in case. I can't even save whenever I want because I can't actually afford the salvage insurance. So let's me do that. That's how low in the pecking order I am right now. President and Senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, so let's check the, where is it, sorry, just go here. Okay, so we're still docked here, so I'm just going to open up the comms to What's biting you. you. you might find things a Very heavy. hard. Down and watch for on this Protect the station. The Pirates are going to attack my station. They told me that if I didn't pay up, they'll come back and destroy, uh, destroy this Production complex alpha. I couldn't afford to pay them, and now they're desperately. Yeah, I desperately need someone to help me. A very hard mission. I'll take the job and fucking Scarpa and let someone else deal with that pirate, and then I'll get the reward. I really fucking hope because I'm in no position to deal with whatever that is. Um, ooh, two Zen on ends. <laughs> Fuck that. You're on your own. I'm out of here. Okay. Whoa. Jesus. Zen on? This is a bit sorry, Lick Cube, this is a bit this is a bit much. I've got like a little shitty ship. Xenon N. Oh god. How fast are they moving? Nice and slow, yes? 312 no, they're moving they're moving t more than twice as fast as my ship. Um So yeah, these are the Xenon, these are the uh basically Geth. They are nasty. With extremely advanced technology. That's alright, so long as they don't go for me or launch a missile at me, I'll be fine. Xenon N. Uh, so... If I just go to the edge of the sensor range... So, uh, is there any, like, police or military units that could come over and help? Call the police. Yeah, okay. Dumbfire missile. Production complex. Alpha. Hey, maybe they'll crash. <laughs> the, the, the AI will spaz out and they'll crash. Um, right. Any any military ships? Argon freight. Xenon N. Just cut the engine. So this is just another dynamic mission that you're supposed to do. Yeah, the fucking I can't fight these. This is crazy. Um, any police? Military? Anybody? Somebody? Uh, or even a merchant that's coming to trade with its own armed escort? Oh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Ooh, Argon Military Escort Discoverer. Okay, it's only an M5. So, probably not going to be able to do much, but it's better than nothing. Argon Go, man! Military escort discoverer. You can do it! Where's that missile going? It's not going for me, is it? We're rooting for you! Yeah, so it's a fast moving discoverer M5. Ooh, wow! Ooh! That's cool! Is that the mass driver weapons? Oh, that sounds awesome! Is he winning? He's winning! Yay! I, I could get in there and help. Holy shit! He killed one. Xenon N. Right. Don't worry, station. I'm coming. I'm coming over there to help. Dumbfire Miss Xenon N. Oh. Maybe one of them will drop some Xenon weapons that I totally can't sell because no one will buy them. <laughs> oh wow, look, even the, uh, oh, that's... Argon military oh, Xenon nice. M. Proper Argon military um, corvette over there. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Looks like a child whose mum said to get on your bike and get some pocket money to buy bread. Yeah, basically, that's what this start of this playthrough is. <laughs> Come on, I'm here to help. Look, I find my weapon. I'm helping. I'm helping. No Yay! Argon military. You did good here. Yay! Oh, you know, it's, it's the least I could have done, you know. I was in the area. I, oh, they made me a Federation member because of that. I, I, I ranked up everybody. <sighs> I feel good. Yeah, job well done. Pay well earned, eh? Honest work, honest pay. Right, check my missions. Uh, incoming messages, even. How much money did I get? Tens of thousands, maybe 50,000, you know. I got... Uh, Patrol complete. So, where's my money? How much money did they wire me? Uh, oh, okay. So I have twenty-two thousand three hundred and fifty-three credits. Ooh. Thank you, JS, uh, JS Tro. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Right. Good. 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 Now let's have a wee explore and see what other uh, stations we can find in the area, uh, and generally figure out stocks and. Who needs what and that sort of thing. Thank you, Mr. Ghoul. Thank you, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. So, in all seriousness, though, instead of just floating around for piss, cash, rubbish, I really do need to look look out for basically pirate ships that, are, that, you know, that I can attack and hope that one of them bails out for a ship that I can salvage, repair, and bring back to a shipyard to sell will seriously boost my my you know cash reserves. And also just generally keep my eyes open for, yeah, as someone said, any dropped supplies through pirate activity. Or hell, any ships that are just bailing out on their own. Debris. Ooh. Debris. Debris. Hmm. Oh, well, that's a bit new. Yes, sal yes, salvage. Salvage, right. So when a battle is ongoing and, you know, a, a, a pilot jumps out of their ship and is desperate for help, it's free real estate. Oh, fucking nut. What the hell is that? Argon military. What the Atlas. fuck is that? M2 destroyer. That looks nothing. Whoa. That looks amazing. I want seven. How much are they? Argon military atlas. That looks amazing. Holy shit. It's like a photocopier with engines and like a million guns. What guns do you have? Uh, what guns do you have? Does it not tell me what guns you have? Uh, read out nine. <laughs> nine times two gigajoule shields. My God, you're a fortress. Incendiary ion plus. So your weapons aren't really anything to. Yeah, all right, I guess. Holy shit. Is that is that a mod thing? So that's Argon military. That's that's military fucking funded. Puts a, a like a piddly little corporation to shame. I see. You need a scanner for the specifics, right? Yeah. That's not a vanilla ship. Yeah, I don't I don't recognize that ridge. The the Tokyo the, the Tokyo is amazing. They've done something to the Tokyo. Entering system, Ringo Moon. Okay, so we're back in Ringo Moon. Uh, Kahuna Bakery. You are talking to... Ooh, multiple combat missions. Okay. Uh, well, well, we'll work our way up. I mean, again, if we can get someone to bail out, then it will hugely up our chances. Um, let's fly over here. Granted. So for the people who have never seen this game, a big part of it isn't what I'm doing now. So you see how I'm going and doing missions and trading and exploring like your standard space game? Um, this one has a bit of a twist to it in that pretty soon, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to get a second ship that, that I can then order around and even automate um, in the exact same fashion as all these other ships around me. So I can just tell it to go and trade shit. You know, I can specify these sectors, buy wheat and sell it for the best price you can find or something. And so over time, and then of course you'll get a third ship and then a fourth ship and then... It will. It snowballs, is what I'm saying. And then pretty soon, you have yourself the start of a. You have that like the core of a corporation, 
eventually you'll be able to purchase your first itty bitty space station probably a mining station that just tends to be the, the cheap option for the best reward really um, you know just some ore or some silicon and um, and then eventually can you become a weapons dealer Maxi indeed uh, like make your own weapons and ships and sell them yes indeed Maxi in fact my first playthrough saw me uh, as one of the primary weapons dealers of Argon space um, if it exploded I sold it Hell, some of it, you know, even exploded on purpose. Right, okay, so let's dock here. Okay, give it a quick save. On behalf of our president and senator, mm -hmm. the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Connections. Right. Da, 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 da. <laughs> She's got herself a little pillow, just like thrown over there now. Right, okay, so, uh, 22,000 credits. Let's open up the comms. So I'm currently, well, we're sort of between two different bakeries. Undock, presumably I need to get a bit closer before I can hail them. Oh, that's so bad, folks, I'm so sorry. She's eating something nasty. She is farting like nobody's business. Ugh. You are talking to the spade it out. Okay, you're right looking for help. I've got a lead you might like to pick up. Encoding data. Very for easy. Now. This mission <sighs> should be a cakewalk for you. Anything there you find of interest? 141 credits! Okay. Kahuna Bakery L Gamma is under attack. Hey, some shady character told me that bad things can happen to my station if I didn't pay them for security. Okay. I'll take it. Protect the bakery from... Xenon N. Oh, Xenon N! That, I'm being paid that to defend the station from a Xenon N. Which is about to get itself blown up by the Argon. Look, the Argon military are firing at it. Please get it. Please help me. I can't take on a Xenon N. That's crazy. Oh, oh look, look, look. Proper military missiles. Whoop. What are they firing at it? Ooh, what is that? Red light. Can't tell the class of the missile. Thank you, Dushako. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I'm guessing it's not an anti-fighter missile based on its speed, so... Hmm. Da -da 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 -da. No, oh. You did some fantastic work there. <laughs> Sending payment for the job now. Thank you! It's pity pay, isn't it? Oh, they genuinely just paid me a hundred and something credits. Right. What's the next mission? Got something to say. Great time sending through the data now. Would you be interested? <laughs> Patrol to ore belt for just under a thousand credits. Okay. So, ore belt is that way. Oh, we need to patrol Ringo Moon first. All right. <laughs> so also, not only am I being paid pittance, uh, I'm facing off against things that can just destroy me with a single missile. So this could all go to go to pot very quickly. Right, okay. Um, what sort of cargo bay does this thing have? I would presume fuck all. Um, uh, 54 units. And uh, small? Small, okay. Um, so this, this, this thing, yeah, this thing is not hauling anything decent anytime soon. But maybe like, what's small? What could be fit in here? Silicon crystals? I can have a look. Something something small with a big profit margin if I buy at the lowest point and sell at the highest. But even still, it's fucking tiny. It's probably more money than I'll get patrolling power cells. Well, power cells, the, the profit margins are normally tiny. Bunch of rocks. Space weed? What about space weed? Or space fuel, which is basically just whiskey. Ooh, speaking of whiskey. Yeah. Oh, where's my shot glass? Oh, Bollocks, I cleaned it. Oh, never mind. Ah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. It's okay. I'm a YouTuber. We're allowed to have whiskey on hand next to us because Adobe After Effects makes me drink. Um, sorry, yes, yeah, space fuel is just a euphemism. So it's, uh, it's, 
illegally brewed alcohol. What am I doing? Um, is this the right gate? South gate. Oh, it just wants me to patrol this, sec this sector first, doesn't it? All right. Straight from the bottle? I've got no glass, Baldwin. Improvise, adapt. Get shit faced. Oh, hello. There we go. We've taken it out. We totally took it out. It was us. Argon, military, Titan. See, yeah, this is this is what they're supposed to look like. This is so. This is an Argon M2. Or is that a carrier? No, it's in, yeah, that, that that's a an Argon destroyer. So, good lord, the uh, the other thing looked awesome. And uh, no, I don't, Jack, and I'm not familiar. I'm afraid with X4. Uh, X3, wait, X Rebirth, or whatever it was, was a bit of a train wreck. Um, so, yeah, I'm sort of not going near X4 at the minute. Entering system. Oh, wow. Red light. Oh, things are red. They weren't red before. Hmm. Okay. Right, so, patrol red light. Not a problem, unless we encounter a genuine threat, in which case, problem. Mm -hmm. Indeed, Dagor, but um, this one really was very surprising. Um, I know it sounds like I'm constantly riding on X Rebirth, but I, I, it was a huge botch. Uh, th this wasn't just a game has been launched in a bad state. It was... This game failed to understand what captivated people about the X franchise, and so it stripped out everything that people liked. I know that sounds like an overgeneral, like ah, oh, he's, he's exaggerating and he's 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 painting all players with the same brush. Um, it became like a generic space exploration. Holy fuck, nuggets on a stick! What the fuck? Oh, pirate fighter drones. Okay. Pirate high tech transporter. Is that the thing I'm after? Pirate pirate high tech transporter. I'm not going near that. Are you kidding me? TS class. Can't tell what it's got. Oh, it's cool. So this is dynamic light. Yeah, holy shit. That's awesome. Um, I best stay away from that. I can't handle that. I would presume, yeah, I, I'd presume that that's not my target. That's just a sort of random vessel that's going through. Thank you, Mallow. Thank you very much, Mallow. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, what's it doing? It's fighting somebody currently. Ooh, the combat sounds awesome. Point defense turrets are firing. So the pilot isn't aiming those, it's just. Oh shit. They're just engaging at will. What are they engaging? Well, nothing now. They're fucking scorched it all. Oh dear. I can't take that on. That's way too tough. Am I supposed to be here anyway? Patrol the red light. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Sharp Knight. Thank you very much, Sharp. Thank you. Hmm. Why is it staying on my HUD despite no longer being in my sensor range? Hmm. It's kind of cool. So I'm just scooting this way. I can't take that thing on. There's no chance. I've just got to hope for no some. Aim. Gate, home of light. Did someone take it out? Argon, laser tower. Oh, hey! Did it leave any? De did it leave any debris that I can grab? Um, asteroids. I don't think so. Thank you, Michael Archangel. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, asteroids. No, nothing. All right. Uh, so we'll head this way. Yeah, we're just getting getting a lay of the land. So Argon Prime and the surrounding systems here, here, and here. Okay. Ah, dearie me. 
Uh, Egosoft make sandboxes and normally after a little mm, balancing they'll make it really quite good. Possibly, but uh, again, um, Rebirth was a different kettle of fish. So you see what I'm doing? Forgive me if I misspeak. It's not intentional. I'm just what I've gleaned from what I've read about it. You see what I'm doing here? The sort of trading exploration? This is just the start of it. It, it, it will explode. It will get to a point where it snowballs and suddenly you're building a corporation and you have ships in the thousand and stations in the hundreds and space profits in the millions and then you'll be able to sort of tweak and target a great big economic sandbox uh, to sort of bend it to your will. Yet, Rebirth doesn't do that as far as I understand. It's just one ship. You just trade and do missions and that that's it. You don't... You can't have, like, thousands of different ships that you can all pilot. Right? That that was the backlash? No, you only pilot the one. Yeah, that that's the thing. The the whole attraction is that you see all of the I can pilot these. Boron, yep. trait transport. I can pilot that. Argon, that trait jump beacon. Not that, that's a jump beacon. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? But all of these, e these, on, yeah, transporter. these are just different classes of ships that I can purchase and buy. Purchase and buy—it's the same thing. Purchase and fly. Xenon N. Can I just say, holy shit! Why the Xenon like here in Argon space is like, good lord. Okay, well it's right next to the headquarters of the uh, Terracorp, Terra whatever they're called. Hmm. Thank you, the drunk zombie. Thank you very much, the drunk zombie. No aim. Did someone get it? Uh, I think someone got it. It's my current mission. Home of light, this place here. <laughs> okay. Can you, but, but can you profit of the illicit space weed? Indeed you can. Um, I'm trying to think where the closest place to find to purchase space weed would be. Probably near Hetigvus Faith. Maybe. Far south. Thank you, um, Colesmith and Virtuous Stig. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. And Sniper Panda. Thank you, Sniper. Um, right, so mission or belt. So one last jump. Okay. Is Albion Prelude good DLC? Indeed it is, yes. So the, um, yeah, so it, it, in terms of its mission stuff that it added, yeah. But just overall tweaks and balances here and there for the Terran conflict is appreciated. Okay. No, no, the planets are just, they're there, but, oh, hang on. You have gained recognition. Ooh. Patrol complete. Either it was really quiet along the way, or you're not what we expected. <laughs> you didn't manage to eliminate any enemy ships. Still, we'll pay you 191 credits. <sighs> that? Okay, it's a waste of time. Also, what's that? Who are you? There's a giant space station here. You shouldn't be here. Hang on a minute. Hi there, Kirby. I'm, I'm very well. Welcome indeed, Kirby. Who are you? Plutarch Mining Corporation? What the fuck? Okay, you shouldn't be here. You should be like mid, like all the way over. Th okay, for some reason their headquarters is here. I suppose it makes sense. They're a mining corporation, and the ore belt is full of surprise, surprise ore. Okay, right. In which case, let's have a look and see if we can get some space profit now. Ah, uh, free argon. Cloth rhymes, computer components, artificial fertilizer. Damn, crystals are medium cargo space. The ship just simply can't hold them. That's a bit of a pain. So I'm looking for something small that I can easily transport. Computer can put yeah with a with a relatively high profit margin. Let's go back to Argon Prime. So we'll head back to the shipyard. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Thank you, Bisoka. Thank you very much. Oh really, Quantum? Shit. Well, stay safe out there, yeah. That sucks. Yes, yeah, so the virus continues to spread, I'm afraid. That's not good. A 
entering okay. city, home of light. How much does uh, damn? Uh, I can't remotely uh, view prices. Let me just dock at the Home of Light Corporation here in order to, in order to see how much a uh, a jump drive sells for. What's that icon? You are talking to the speeded out pilot. Set, he's selling something. Data for transmission now. A damaged octopus vanguard. For what? Uh, well, I can't afford it, obviously, but I'm just thinking the. Well, it's slightly damaged. Just fix that yourself. So it's a fighter he's selling, a Vanguard. What is that, an M4? I guess, based on the price tag? 776,000 credits. Well, obviously, I can't afford it, but uh, I suppose it's not too bad. That's cool that it's highlighted quite well there. We can look for people selling their own ships or whatever. Right, anyway, let's dock with the corporation here, save it, and have a look at how much the jump drives sell for. The jump drive for energy credits will let me move very quickly from point to point, beating other traders who are also trying to buy low and sell high. Why are people buying bog roll? Successfully docked. Well, what else are you going to wipe your ass with? And Senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Mm -hmm. Connection to local trading network established. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. So let's have a look. Um, open up the trading interface with the station. So salvage insurance. So this would let me save in space. 3,000. Um, okay. Bioscanner for 2,000. Jump drive for 101,000. Good. Explorer command software for 2,000. Trading system extension for 8,000. Good lord, the transporter device price has gone up. Okay. Use remote system control software will allow you to take control of empty starships without the need to enter the cockpit. Oh, thank fuck for that. <laughs> it's 20, just under 30 million, though. So it will solve this convenience of having to constantly get out of your damn ship in order to float to the ship you want to salvage. It's going to cost you 30 million, though. Wow. Okay. Um, what's that? Emergency retreat device. Good lord, this mod has a lot in it. When the emergency retreat sorry, when the emergency retreat device is installed, ships with emergency jump enabled will take extra pre precautions when their shields drop below a threshold. Um, okay. Use this core. I see. So emergency jumps now require their own special item. Which cost about one and a half million. Okay. Eh, okay. Well, no, it's good to good to be aware of the surroundings. Um. All right. So it's, um. Don't eject from the ship. Undock. Let's keep moving. Oh, thank you, anonymous. Thank you very much for doing that. Whoever that is, thank you for your kindness. Thank you very much. Okay. Mm. Instant jump with a ten-second countdown. Oh, really? Oh. Thank you, Sheepish. Thank you very much, Sheepish. And Ego. Thank you very much, Ego. Thank you. And the 200th Fairy. Thank you very much. Thank you, all of you folks. You've been very kind to me. Oh, fuck. I flew past the jump blob. God damn it. Can't even call them jump gates anymore. The jump blob. We are scared. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck the police. <laughs> got scanned by the police. System, Argon but then I jumped miles away. Ooh. Federal Argon. You're selling something? You are talking to the automated... Is there something like transmitting information? A Discoverer no. Vanguard. Eh, eh, these prices are fairly reasonable. But can I have like a handout? I'm poor. I have nothing. I, I'm, I'm just a, a... I've got my little Discoverer. That's all I've got. Not Discoverer. Um, what is this? Perseus, Perseus Raider. This is a Paranid vessel, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Why the panic ward runs for toilet paper? Hey, hey, again, I'm, I'm not, I'm not so sure what people think. Well, what do you think they're after? You get through toilet, but it's, it's something you regularly use and you get through, and then when you don't have it, what are you gonna do? Just stick your bum hole in the sink. Right. <clears throat> Am I still single, Kirby? What do you think? 
Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, right. um, let's have a look at what was I doing here. I was looking to see if there are, there's anything that I can sell, uh, even though my inventory is extremely limited. Um, so, war, uh, warheads large, uh, typhoon missiles, wasp missiles, but they don't have much in stock. Um, ooh. Okay. Damn, looks like the... Uh, there's nothing selling. Uh, as in stocks aren't massive right now. Can I just dock with the shipyard to see if it has any easy upgrades that I can purchase for super cheap? Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Hmm. Hi there. Shaolin. Welcome indeed, Shaolin, in Brazil. Hope you're well. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, I'm, I'm working on the next bullshittery. So I hope to have it ready for you within about nine, nine days, I hope. Based on my schedule, um, fingers crossed. Oh yeah, no, totally, Zagada. No, it is panic buying. No, but pe people aren't people aren't lo logically, you know, they're not buying toilet paper and stuff as a logical throughput to combat the virus. They're doing it because they're worried that if they don't, there won't be any stocking the shelves when the supply is disrupted. That, that, it's, it's just panic buying. You know. It's, it's not going to be easy to keep infrastructure running if 70% of your population goes down with the coronavirus. Repair crews report right. to docking bay 6. Damaged ship is approaching. Which was the last estimate given by the UK government at least. Um, but take that with a, with a pinch of salt because frankly our government is kind of incompetent. Okay. Thank you, Sir Ramayama. And tr uh, try give. Thank you, both of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so trading system extension for eight grand. Trade command software. Uh, special eight, um, special command software. Ore collector. Navigation command. Oh, oh, Oh. <laughs> oh, finally! The jump drive can be purchased from Argon Prime! Oh! You don't have to fuck around going to the Home of Light! Oh, thank fuck for that. Okay. Duplex scanners, boost extensions. Right, let's optimize the cargo bay as best we can. It's fairly cheap. So six grand. Cargo bay extension installed. How much to up the speed? Oh, no, don't push it. Alright. Um. Shit, it's gonna take fucking forever to get this trading done. Okay, un uh, give it a save, then undock. Um. Exactly, that's my. Well, yeah, and that Spartan. Is it Spartan? Yeah, you're right. People are worried about having to go in quarantine and, you know. It's fair, it's fair. If anything, I need to get, uh, yeah, I need to get back out there and get some more stuff. Just regular stuff, really, not not even dried food. Or just like, you know, regular food. And stop ordering damn takeaways. Because what happens is um, my fridge gets empty and then I get lazy. And then it's, do I want plain pasta with a bit of chicken stock or a burrito? And then uh, it's, it's, it's a battle of wills and my will is shit and burritos are tasty. And my waistline is growing. And um, yeah. Fat, yes, yes. Energetic, yes, yes. But at the same time, burritos are fucking nice. Fuck you. Um, okay, so let's fly over to the wall, the wall and see if I can scout out any computer chip plants or anything. Oh, also, can I access the Paranid Prime Stock Exchange? Um, will it let me? Sorry, Paranid Argon Stock Exchange. Um, wait, no, not... Piss. Why not? Stock exchange. Am I, am I actually too poor? They, okay, so I'm I'm too poor to access the Argon Stock Exchange. <laughs> Hang on a second. Um, where where is where is it? Argon Stock Exchange. There you are. Can I? You are talking to the automated. 
can, can I can I get a readout of the Argon Stock Exchange, please? This is just like your your goods that you're selling. Hang on. Granted. Autopilot activated. Is it literally going to turn me away and say, "You do not have the capital"? Hang on. Do you have to dock with it? Can you not do it remotely? Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, um, the Argon Federation no, welcomes you. No, it won't let me access it. To local oh, trading Argon Trade Authorities have restricted access to the stock exchange to individuals who own at least one station. <laughs> you, you don't have any property. You are not a property owner. You are not allowed to access the information in the fucking stock exchange until you. Really? Seriously? Ugh. Okay. Beggars are operating oh. on this factory. What? I just please docked. Do not encourage these professional beggars. Oh, fuck, I just if got here. Any spare credits? Please donate them to a registered charity. Oh, I know what I'm not fucking wanted. Fuck you. I'm out of here. Jesus. Christ. Okay. Right, so we'll go over to the wall then over here. Yep, so evidently I'm do Oh, can I just read it? <laughs> just flow past. Yeah, Dilexian wheat. Got it. Okay, let's go. Right. Oh uh, no. In all seriousness, though, let me just have a quick look and see. Um, uh, so, cloth rhymes could be possible. So these secondary resources here um, are, are sort of things that most of the other um, traders don't touch because they're a hassle. So they're, they're normally stuff like from boron space or whatever. Which is a pretty cool thing because it lets you circumvent, like, you can go, aha, I have a jump drive, so I'm going to jump further and get something from further afield. Like, I don't know, uh, Stot Spices or whatever. I'm pretty sure there's something here that buys Stot Spices. I remember selling loads of them. Rasta oil, for example, grows in, uh, is a Taladi foodstuff, I think? Computer components. Uh, yeah, weird. I was definitely selling... Stot spices to somebody. Was it the um hold up? It was probably the Kahuna Bakeries. Yeah, Stot Spices. Ooh, small. That could be hang on. Sorry, back and forth, back and forth. Home of light. Let's see if Yeah. Well I I had a catering company, fifty. You know, we were we were selling food. I know where I know where the customers are. Hi there, SWAT Knight. ZF SWAT Knight is in the chat, folks. Thank you, Mendu. Thank you very much, Mendu. Also, I've lost the chat. Uh, lost the chat? Lost the music. Hang on a minute. Whoopsie. Uh, let's put on the... Where's the Derelict album? I rather like that one. Yeesh. Cool, there we go. Turn up just a notch. Okay. Light. Oh, I'm here. Holy shit. Pilot off. Right, okay. Uh, so now that I'm here, let's have a look at the Kahuna Bakeries M Alpha. Damn, the stock spices are indeed being delivered by somebody. Uh, not massively so. Okay. Right, so let's see if we can find some stock spices in boron space. Deliver them here. Or at least a little bit quick. But again, our, our storage space is rubbish, so. Whee! Why am I always listening to the carbon-based life forms? I like them. Nice and chill. It's going to sound weird, but I like music that doesn't have any singing. Uh, I find that singing sings over the music in most cases. It's like, shut up! You're singing over the music. Stop it. Um, thank you very much, Mendu. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice and peaceful. Solar fields are also quite good, yeah. Do I watch set of streamers myself? Indeed I do. So I tune in, tune in and watch the guys, see what they're doing. Uh, not always. Um, I often find that the competitive stuff... I d I'm not really that interested in that. Thank you, Sir Hook. Thank you very much, Sir Hook. Okay. Am I a football fan? I'm afraid not, Fresh. Uh, sports are not really my thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, charming, Ivor. Charming. We'll sleep well. 
Right, so here we are. So the wall is the one of the primary energy generating systems for Argon Prime. Uh, so big solar arrays here. Ooh, selling energy for cheap. Let's, well, are there any that are full? Because, you know, we might as well just get it as cheap as we can. That's good enough. Uh, that sells for what? 14 credits? 14 credits a pop? Docking granted. Autopilot activated. How many press ups can I do? Plural? Right, okay, let's dock. <laughs> Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator. Yep, 14 the credits apiece. 854 credits to purchase. It's <laughs> a drop in the ocean. Okay, undock. Let's see if we can find some stock spices. So is that the north gate? No, it looks like the south gate. North gate would be... haven't found it yet. Nope, I'm flying off into the depths of space for no reason. What on fuckery am I doing? Where is the north gate? I'm lost in space, everybody. With Joey from Friends. Let's fly this way. Uh, scruffing fruit. Ooh, no one's providing scuffing fr uh, scruffing fruit. Oh, and I can sell the energy cells here immediately for a fairly good price. So I bought them for 14 credits. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, selling them for 19. Reconnection to local trading network established. Maybe I should have kept better track of how much that was, but eh, every little helps. Right, so ah, look, over there, west. There we go. We'll fly this way. Thank you, Lee Amnesia. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you. How does one join the server? It's a single-player game. Um, fuck. It's a big single player aquarium type thing. Ooh. Uh, that was a message from Digi. <laughs> danger, danger. Will Robinson. Is it Will Robinson? Right. So, let's see if we can find some stot spices or some scruffing fruits. That movie aged poorly, yeah. A lot of the 90s stuff did, didn't it? Entering system, the hole. Okay. Is it Boron Space or Argon? It is Argon Border Territory, so... Lots of boron, though. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. The Lulu's farting. It's horrendous. It's so bad. Oh. Okay, we're just going to drift through space. Our sensors are rubbish, and this nebula is oof. What's the gist of the mod? It's added an end game threat, Mr. Uh, Pangu. And also has tweaked like lots of different things. So many things that I couldn't really tell you what they all are. Hmm. <laughs> Trash Blob says I aged terribly too. Ah oh dear, yeah. The ravages of time. How are things with the sausage roll lady? Um, hasn't been there for the last few times I've been to the bakery. Yeah. Oh, Atreus's cloud, is that what I want? No, that's... I assume this is where I want to go. So boron space is up here, isn't it? So I'm looking for any stot spice things. Gate Antigone Memorial. Uh, n I think that's a dead end, isn't it? I can't recall. Uh, fly through. So this was some big battle that was fought. 
I think this is like the conclusion of the first X game or something. Did they add like wreckage or something? Oh, it's not a dead end. Thank you, awesome bulldogs. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> it's too late. She moved to home and found a rich husband. Well, I tried. I didn't really. But I was thinking of trying. Hmm. Free Argon Trading Station, Cattle Ranch, L Alpha. What's that over there? Da, da, da. Wheat farm. Wheat farm. Dilexian wheat. Good, good. What's that over there? Just scout out what's here. Ooh, solar power. <laughs> uh, what's that? Debris. Mining debris. Cattle ranch. M Alpha. Okay. Wheat farms. Dilexian wheat. Cattle. Plankton. Oh yes, plankton as well. Scruff and fruit. Plankton. Yeah, the boron have lots of plankton, don't they? Being an aquatic thing, species. Southgate. Don't want that. Uh, Westgate. That's what I want. Okay. Power circle. Oh god, we're nowhere near boron space. Did I take a wrong turn? Should I have gone past that way? Yeah, I think I should have gone south. Hang on. Damn it. The moment you have a jump drive, the inconvenience. The hole. Right. Ah, dear me. Just tell her you're an influencer, says Dopey. No. No, no, no. Absolutely not. It's a horrid term. Yes, I imagine so, uh, imagine so, Rimshot. If there really is an end game and the Xenons start advancing through normal space, destroying everything, by the time I get my first factory and get access to the Argon Stock Exchange is probably when they'll arrive. And they'll have all of three ships to, to protect. Entering system, autopilot off. Right. Okay, so... Ah, can't see anything here. From the, from the perspective of someone working in retail, don't actually try. It's very odd when a random person tries to chat you up at work. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Don't worry, I'm not... I'm not really that daft. But she's so pretty. So, so pretty. Hmm. <laughs> and the chat presses the doubt button. How you doing, Birdie? You okay? Thank you, doubt, doubt. <laughs> Good timing. Thank you, doubt, doubt. Thank you very much. Press X to doubt, doubt. Hmm. Right, so we're just flying through space looking for trade opportunities. Although, frankly, my ship's cargo bay is such that this might be a bit of a waste of time. But, uh, looking for something. Anything. Need to also keep my eyes open for any ongoing fights where I might be able to grab some resources like missiles, discarded weapons, or even ships that are abandoned if we get super lucky. Entering system at autopilot off. Where are we? Boron border. Here we go. Oh, have they? Oh, have they coloured them? Are they now? Oh, <laughs> if that's true, green for boron. Please tell me they're now coloured. If so, that's amazing. Ah, oh, stock mixery. Here we go. Stock spices. Oh, they're almost sold out. Fuck ass. Bofu. Yeah. Piss. All right. I have to look for somewhere where they're not sold out. Have a good look around. 
What does the factory Bofu look like? Chemical Lab. Bofu Chemical Lab. Boron. Boron. Livestock Transporter. What does the stock mixery look like? Just from a distance. Start mixery. M. Beta. So that's one down there. Let's have a look. So yes, it's a big, um, you know, simulated economy thing. So the various ships are coming, lo coming along to buy the products. Start as they're being produced and sell them just as I'm doing now. That's not a stock mixery. Hmm. Nice. Bofu, Bofu. Nah. Okay. Uh, we'll head down there. See what that is. I've not tried it, the insane person, but the prior game, X Rebirth, was such a huge train wreck that I'm sceptical. Thank you, Leon. Thank you very much, Leon. Thank you. <clears throat> hmm. What's my favourite VR game to relax with a stream? Um, I rather enjoy, um, Blade and Sorcery, to be honest. Biogas. As much as that makes me sound like a crazy person, it's quite, uh... Yeah, it's quite it's quite fun, flailing around and stabby stabby. Okay, that definitely makes me sound like a crazy person. Royal Boron Trading. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Simply smile. Thank you very much. Simply. Thank you kindly. We'll head through the south gate. I need to find some stock spices. Thank you, uh, Zero Tekka. Thank you very much, Zero. Thank you kindly. Entering system. Farnham's legend. Pirate sector marked red. Oh dear. Um, could be some space weed. What's that down there? If we can find a pirate base. Boron lives. Oh, plankton farm. Ooh. Okay. Plankton is a small product. I would assume medium, small. Hmm, we can pick up, pick up some plankton. Yeah. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Need to watch out for any pirates. Ever played a game that literally made me crap my pants? No, I've never played anything that's made me crap my pants. Zero. You say that as if Successful does that happen to you frequently? On behalf of Chairman CEO. The Talati Company wishes great profit to you and welcomes you on board. Okay, so 20 credits apiece. So 1,220 credit purchase. Hello. You have gained recognition. Mm -hmm. And go this way. Cool. Hello, Lulu. Are you okay, honey bunny? You're having an explore. What are you doing down there? Are you a good dog? You're incredibly smelly, though. Why do you stink so much? Why do you stink? Smelly, smelly dog. Enter autopilot on. Okay. Exploring the sector. So where can I sell this plankton? Uh, Bofu chemical. Bofu chemical. Stot mixery. What's the other thing that likes plankton? Anything in Argon space? Oh, she's off to open the curtain. Look outside. Yeah, she's going to perch herself there and look for any foxes that she can growl at. Um, okay, so Banshee... What uses plankton again? Kahuna Bakeries? No, stock spices. What about the actual... Uh, what are they called? Free Argon Trading Station, Kahuna Bakery. What's the name of the cattle ranch? That was it. Plankton. Yes, they purchased plankton. Okay. What if I go back to the hole? There was a cattle ranch there, wasn't there? Ant Antigone's Memorial. Let's go there. Okay. Autopilot. Off we go. Speed up time. 
Thank you, Master Bread. Thank you very much, Master Bread. Thank you. It is uh, Pearl Ham, I think, as one of the primary ingredients, but if you can pick up things, if you can identify secondary ingredients, you'll have uh, a much greater profit margin. So there's greater inconvenience um, in shipping that, but normally that means that they're, they're low in stock. Uh, the lack of secondary ingredients doesn't stop a factory from doing its job. It just means that, you know, you get a bit of extra money. Entering system, the hole. I would assume it's flavor or whatever. Hmm. Um, I'm not really... Uh, I haven't really uh, gone very far in it, Cold Hacks. So this is the first stream of it. So I'm still experimenting. Hmm. Did I... Oh, thank you, Hey Buddy, and Master Bread, and Zero, and Simply. Thank you sincerely for subbing, guys. Thank you. You're all very kind to me. Speed. How's the music volume? Is it too quiet or too loud? Also, bloody hell, the time is flying. It's, al it's already nearly 10 o'clock. Hmm. Incoming message. Message received. Stand by. Shouldn't be receiving a message. Who sent me a message? Tandy Tech. Yeah, this was the name of that corporate, that weird corporation thing. Broadcast message. As per interstate interstellar trade law, we're issuing financial and asset statements to registered parties, including an Argonne military threat assessment model as per Argonne military registration bylaws. All registrations are fully legal, certified, provided upon request. So the Fanon Corporation, active subsidiary Tandy Tech, credit balance 11.2 million. Okay, so it's an update on the state of my competing corporation. So the one that's out to get me. So this is like an end game objective, like another corporation that you can fuck with and will attempt to fuck with you. So they have 11.2 million credits. They have 48 military assets. They've already got a factory going. They have a registered trader that's doing its own thing. Two station sales representatives for that military factory. And I have a shitty beat up ship that doesn't have anything. It, it has life support barely. I think, you know, question mark is there. And like some toothpicks. Oh, and don't forget the cargo hold full of plankton. 61 small boxes of it, two of which are leaking. I feel outclassed right about now. Okay. Yes, yes, we're good. Exactly. Um, uh, 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 yeah, good. Um, what's the entrepreneurial spirit? We're gonna, we're gonna pull ourselves up by our bootstraps here. Our shitty. Our shitty cheap bootstraps that are already falling apart. <laughs> also, am I on autopilot? Am I just floating off into space? Docking granted. We're after pulling ourselves up by the bootstraps here, gents. We're after an excellent start. It's some teething prop. Every company has teething problems getting off the ground. It's fine. It's fine. Who cares that I was flying in the wrong direction for like tens of kilometers? Um, thank you, um, Allied Wheat. Thank you very much, Allied. Thank you. And I haven't even been drinking. Maybe a little bit. Thank you, Down the Rabbit Hole. Thank you very much, Down. Thank you. <laughs> Shut up, night plays. Right. Ah, <sighs> dearie me. Anyway, for the people just joining the stream, welcome indeed. Just relaxing in space right now in my little spaceship, which um, I'm so poor I can't even afford to repair it if it takes damage. <laughs> um, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> So let's not take damage. Although frankly, the thing is is so cheap that there we go. It's so cheap that any damage is probably going to be immediately terminal for the pilot. So you know, Entering every cloud. Antigone Memorial. Here we go. So uh, let's have a look. So I have some wheat to sell. 
Uh, Dilexian wheat. Uh, that's not what I want. Cattle ranch, right? Um, a plankton to sell. Ooh! Voila! They're completely out, this one here. So if we fly here quickly, before another trader gets there, we can sell them for maximum profit. Thank you, Cat Leap. Thank you very much, Cat Leap. Thank you. Hmm. How do you get a day off work? You've got work tomorrow and you don't want to because you hate it. Yes, uh, sympathies. Oh, it's, just, it's just the grind, isn't it? Adrenaline sucks. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes you aboard. Okay, so we bought them for 20, uh, 20 credits a unit. We're selling them for 22 credits a unit. It's a good job there's no fuel, uh, because that probably wouldn't be worth the cost of the, the next fuel. The to the planet's surface will depart in eight Missouras from gate three. Right. All first class passengers, please board the shuttle from section... Oh, hang on. Well, you know, baby steps. Baby steps. Everyone's going to make a start somewhere. This will be ours, okay? Right. So, uh, let's see if we can do some combat things. At least with a combat thing, there's a chance that the vessel we're attacking will either bail or drop something useful. Better than, you know, 100 credits every hour. You are talking. You're looking for help? Very easy. Protect the wheat farm. Okay. Shouldn't be a problem. If it's very easy, I'm sure there'll be no problem. And I'm not going to get immediately killed by the Xenon N. Pirate Harrier. Okay, just one. It's fine. Just one. You should be alright. Um, it's, it's, he's painted it with fancy raw colours. He's quick though. 510 metres per second. Good lord, that is a quick vessel. Okay, so yeah, it, do, it doesn't even have the weapons to get through the shield. It's, it's fine. Indeed I did, insane. This is the first stream of a new playthrough, a fresh start. Is there a trick for more frequent bailings? Not really delightful. Beyond don't destroy it too quickly. But uh, this mod changes quite a lot to do with the bailing system, I believe. I think it's over. I think it's reduced the overall chance whilst also making pretty much every ship have the chance of bailing. And then they've put in salvage ships which go about salvaging the ships. So if you're not fast enough, yoink. Hello. So, uh, seven kilometers. I'm sure it's going to be fine. We're not going to get immediately one shot. That being said, we do have two one megajoule shields aboard. Um, both of these can probably be powered by a 12 volt battery. So, yeah, it's not good. Proximity warning. We've encountered the pirate. The pirate is spinning around because it can't figure out what he's doing. I'm guessing because he doesn't have weapons capable of getting through the shield of the station. He is? Where's my... Oh, I... Okay, I don't even have a predictive... I... Uh, really? How am I supposed to hit the sucker then? Wow, he is so quick. Do I have any missiles? No. What's the button to activate? How am I supposed to... Are you kidding me? I don't have a targeting computer. Target Press K. Oh, there we go. Thank you. I just switched it off accidentally. What are these poncy little guns? We might be here a while, everybody. Target is now in firing range. Oh, I hit him. Oh, I didn't. No, I did. Die, sucker. Every corporation has to start somewhere. It's fine. I hit his shield. Please bail out. Target left firing range. Come on, you Target bastard. Oh, he's going for me now. Whoa, hello. Whoa, there goes my shield. Oh, he's damaged my hull. That's expensive. Oh, good God on toast. Whoa. You have no sense. What? I'm, I'm down to 33% hell. Hell, hull. Am I going to die? Evade. If take evasive action. Thank you, Rannick. Thank you sincerely, Rannick. Thank you. Oh, my 
my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I've got 8% hull. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my ship is total wank! My ship is total wank! <laughs> oh man. <sighs> Baby steps. Baby steps. Um, right. So... <laughs> very easy. Yes, the mission was very easy. Okay. There we go. Um, yes, so... Fuck. Okay, so I can't even take on the most basic of foe. Um, thank you, Attrition. Thank you very much. Stand by. Let me just have a look and see if... This vessel that I'm flying... If it can take like a 25 megajoule shield or something, or even a 5 megajoule shield, that's better than what I've got. So, max shields. Okay, two 1 megajoule shields. So, this is the max. <laughs> <laughs> this ship is so wanky. <laughs> it's made of paper mache. Thank you, Tharman. Thank you very much, Tharman. Thank you. Um. What am I going to do? Uh, beyond beg for scraps. 16,000. What am I going to do? Time to be a pirate. Pi against who? Who can I possibly take on? Hmm. Just going to have to try it again. Wait. You are talking to the automated interact. Spaded out by greater hit. This mission should be very easy. Protect the wheat farm. Here he comes. Pirate Jaguar. Hauler. Pirate Jaguar. Is that tougher? Okay. See if I see what I can do. Hall of version. I can't afford that. Just gotta hope that I can get something to bail out. Target is now in firing range. Don't hit the station I'm here to protect. Can I order my own AI to engage it? Combat, attack all enemies. Have we reached the point where the AI is going to be more competent at this game than I am? Thank you, Bamza. Thank you very much, Bamza. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it's the other. No, come on. Come on, game. <laughs> No, no, uh, chat, this is me flying it right now. So I'm going to take a right turn. Okay, he's still in my... Cr yeah, still in my sights. Okay, I'm just going to hold nice and steady. And oh, there we go, I did it. I'm amazing. Are you impressed? Federation, thank you for your Woo! Work thank you. For the job now. You have lost recognition. <laughs> you have gained recognition. <laughs> you have been promoted. Okay. Yeah, pro there. X pro as you can see. Thank you, um, Winter. Thank you very much, Winter. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I lost recognition with the pirates? Pilot status. Uh, ooh, okay. What's this? So, bounty earned. Missions accepted. Seven. Completed five. Okay. Nomad. Oh, yes, indeed. You have pirate reputation. I'm a rat, according to the pirates. Ooh, charming. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Day Knight says, could you give tips on how to become as good as you? Well, you know. I I, I, th I think it's just natural-born natural talent, Day Knight, frankly. 
You are talking to speed it out. Greater here. Encoding data for uh, another easy now. mission. I'm sure it will be absolutely fine. La 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 la. Sorry, what was the mission? I didn't actually read the mission. Oh, patrol. It's just a simple patrol. Patrol this area. No problem. <laughs> Have I considered a career as a moisture farmer? <laughs> da 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 Patrolling. This is when it says it turns out yeah, the fucking Xenon N turns up. <clears throat> so, um, right now the dog is behind the curtain sitting on a warm radiator and all I can hear is loud snoring. <laughs> She's super comfortable. <laughs> uh. Right. Any threats anywhere? Whoops. Oh, yes. Um, oh, somebody must have killed the threat. Uh, incoming message. Patrol complete. It was really quiet. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Right, we'll head to a different region of space. Um, yes, so I ended up um, watching through, uh, going through The, the Witcher. Um, finally. Uh, as in the series on Netflix. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Hmm. Argon equipment dog. You are talking. Any missions? I'm so happy sending through the data now. Easy mission. You want the job oh, Xenon. Uh, okay, we'll try. Okay. Patrol this place. It, I, I, I'm Xenon? I mean, is that not too much? Yes, I did. Yeah, it was... It was I was like, oh shit, I recognize this, that, and the other when watching it through. Thoughts on Triss? Yeah! I kind of see what people... Yeah. I don't think the casting was right. I, I mean, yeah. I'm not even that kind... I'm not normally that kind of guy that's like, oh, you know, this, this must be perfectly accurate, but I don't think it was right. It didn't feel right. I, I was willing to sort of watch it through, and I thought, hey, may maybe she's got some, you know, like, m maybe there's some acting chops in there that they really want, and... But they, they didn't really use her at all. She just... She's more... Yeah, that's that's what I thought as well, Astro. That maybe she's more accurate to the book description. But, um... I, I, I didn't think it was the right call. Um... Yeah. I, I can see what people were saying. And also, there there is one thing. I'm, I'm not trying to sound weird about this, but um, it was it, it did feel very sort of Game of Thronesy in its sort of casting choices. Um, whereas The Witcher, at least you know The Witcher One and The Witcher Two, were very sort of it's very obviously Polish, you know, like Slavic folklore. It's very Eastern European, like extremely so. And like with the like the bells around the neck and the and the silly hats and you know the superstitious peasants who sort of uh, you know immediately try to burn anyone different at the stake and yet the casting was like it was very Game of Thronesy, wasn't it? As in lots of characters were you know very clearly not Eastern European. It was it, it, different mouthfeel, and I wasn't. I was like, mm, okay. Xenon. Oh god, it is a Xenon. Okay. Um, Autopilot activated. Yeah. Um, it, it felt... So, the, the Witcher is interesting... Or a big part of why The Witcher is interesting is that it's unfamiliar to Western audiences because it is Slavic folklore, very, very Polish, effectively. We're seeing things that we don't normally see. But this one feels like that, interpreted through the lens of 
Game of Thrones. If you know what I mean. Uh, which we've seen before. So, you know, it's kind of like, oh, okay, we've seen this before. Yeah. The books aren't Slavic at all. Are they not? I'm not, I'm not familiar with that, really. I'm, I'm more familiar with the, the, the games, which are super, super that. Did I get them? So who are these? What are they? What are these things? Oh, Argon fighter drones. Who do they belong to? Um, sorry, how do I select them? Don't crash into the station. Thoughts on Dandelion? Yeah, he was uh, very good. Yeah, well, that was a good casting choice. Um, I think he did very well. Uh, 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 sorry, no, no spoilers, but... Geralt! You apologise! I, I got so upset! I was... Uh, sorry, the, when that bit happened, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mention because spoilers. I was like, Geralt, you ass, Go back and apologise to Dandelion right this instant. I got genuinely miffed with Geralt for his behaviour. Not acceptable. Thank you, Whiskey. Thank you very much, Whiskey. Um, oh, and holy shit. Um, fucking, what's his name? Uh, Henry Cavill just totally carried that shit, didn't he? Oh, my God. <laughs> just, he was brilliant. Really, really, really good. Like, to hell with the Superman role. He's Geralt, Geralt of Rivia now. Okay, um, so did we do the mission and we passed? Uh, nope, we still got to patrol. Okay, patrol to the next sector. The hole. Let's go. Yeah. Yes, and of course, uh, watching the Witcher series filled in um, quite a bit of the uh, the the threads of ah uh, that were being you know that started in the Witcher one. So the playthrough that I'm doing, for example, who Yennefer is. The games feed it to you gradually, and they keep updating your information, but they don't sort of... There's no big exposition dump. Like, you discover, who was Yennefer? She saved your life, but then she died in that riot. Oh, no, wait, she survived, and then she was abducted. Abducted by who? Oh, the Wild Hunt. What is the Wild Hunt? You know, it, it doesn't just go, bleh. Here's an exposition dump. Hmm. Right. Okay, so we just need to patrol this area looking for any fighters to kill. Sorry. I, 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 am I spoiling The Witcher 1? I'm sorry. Huh. All of that's in... No, no, no. I haven't played The Witcher 3, sheepish. I'm referring to The Witcher 1. The first game. Yes, and that is too. So yes, sorry. So it, it seems I've mixed up the two events, haven't I? So I thought that the riot... So in The Witcher 1, uh, Geralt was told that he lost his memory because he was in a riot. That He took a pitchfork to the gut. Like, way before the start of everything. But it turns out that wasn't the same thing as um, Blaviken. That's a different thing. I was, I was getting them mixed up. So where's the next target? Is it not here? Arc on patrol. Should be here. South gate. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Fly to Heron's Nebula. Uh, where's Heron's Nebula? It's this way. We haven't been there yet. West gate. Okay. Hi there, Bionic Babe. Holy shit. Hope you're well. Uh, you you uh, drift in and out. I hope you're well indeed. The TV show needs to stand on its own legs and make sense. Yeah, I do think. Uh, yeah, I, I do think the timeline was a bit all over the place. If you if you're not familiar with the the universe already, it was a bit ooh. Like for example, the first episode of the. Well, again, I don't want to go into spoilers. Uh, the first episode saw a situation where um, the main character Geralt was presented with do this choice. Or do this choice. And then both characters would say, it's the lesser evil. 
Uh, which is very sort of gamey, isn't it? It's very sort of, well, ah, that that's what they do in the games, isn't it? They don't just go, this is the good choice, this is the bad choice. They present a situation and it's like, well, you can see it from either perspective. It's the lesser evil. Right, Heron's Nebula. Wait, this is Heron's Nebula? Oh, yes, of course. Yes, because you go up from Argon Prime. Good silicon mines here, actually. Oh, and I swear there's a space fuel thing. Whiskey, basically. Hmm. But yeah, I thought it was very good. I, I enjoyed it. Um, I thought that uh, Henry Cavill just totally, totally uh, carried that whole thing. <laughs> Um, I thought that the casting choices uh, were definitely the weakness. I thought Dandelion's actor was brilliant. And I've had that fucking song stuck in my head for like two weeks now. Incoming message. Hey! Okay. <laughs> I like that scene with the line, O oh, Valley of Penis! <laughs> uh. Right. Thank you, Project Special. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ah, so Space Fuel Distillery. Should we sell Space Fuel? That's very illegal. Um, <laughs> who are we going to sell it to? That's the question. I mean, we need to get to a pirate base, right? I haven't found a pirate base. Who am I going to sell it to? Hmm. Hi there, Hady. Welcome indeed, Hady. Okay. Um, right. Looking at the time, it's already 20 past 10. I do need to wrap this up and go to bed. Um, maybe a little bit more. Rhymes. Ooh, cloth rhymes. We can sell those. Damn it. The trouble is I've got pittance in terms of cash. 17,000. Um... I just need cash flow. We need to we need to get like a basic ship. How much does a mercury cost? Oh, it's never going to show me from this range, is it? Oh, bollocks. Ah. Okay. We just got to keep cruising, looking for missions, I guess. Um. But the missions pay fuck all. That's the trouble. What am I going to do? We'll go through to South Gate just to get map the area. Where is the south gate? It's down there somewhere, isn't it? <sighs> hmm. Okay. Uh, what's my favourite all-time movie? Sorry, is that question for me? Uh, uh, I'm not sure, really. Favourite all-time movie? I don't know. I've never really thought about it. High yield. High yield torpedo facility? Cloth rhymes. Hmm. Thank you, crawled in. Thank you very much, crawled in. Ah, there we go. Hmm. Thank you, Vode. Thank you very much, Vode. Get 20k, go to Taladi Space and buy 10k stock market licenses. Spend the rest on stock market raiding. I don't know what that is, nor, sorry. Stock mark. Oh, shit. Something for sale. Argon. Is there something I can help you with? Transmitting information now. Ah, uh, elite for 5.8 million. I don't know that. Should we do piracy? Trouble is, I can't. I can't take on anybody. I've got four impulse ray emitters. I. I can't shoot down anything. Entering system. Clock but but autopilot can. <laughs> uh, salvage in pirate sector pays best. Single missiles I can sell for 100k. Eh. God, that sounds so low though. Am I really scavenging in pirate sectors? Is that what we're doing? Thank you, I'm the HDTV. Thank you very much. Oh, God. 
Let's go to the ore belt. We'll go to Paranid Prime. Because I'm at least familiar with any pirates in that area. Oh no, we'll just go... Just go straight to a damn pirate sector then. Alright. What would be the most... Yeah, I don't know what would be, what would be a better alternative. Yeah, cons consider it sightseeing with the occasional loot bonus, N and Ra. <laughs> No. Hang on. She's got one of my socks. She's pinched one of my socks and is now snuggling it. Yep, it's hers now. Hi there, Virulent. Hello indeed. Right, okay then. Uh, so let's keep the scanner up so we can look for any opportunities. So yes, we'll look at... Well, we're in Argon core space right now, so nothing will be happening. But we need to look for conflicts and see if we can... Well, we'll explore, but we'll look for any situations where the military are fighting pirates and see if we can see any derelict... Yeah, missiles or whatever. Um, you know. Salvage. Thank you, Smaller Meow, and Night Reader. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. Yeah, I'm good, Pilot. I'm good indeed. Things are good. Things are fine. Okay. <sighs> how, how long's the flight? No, oh, a bit long. Go to Terran Argon Combat Zones. That's a long way away. Especially without without a jump drive. Okay. Can you build up a pirate crew? Uh, we need an alternate ship first. Hmm. Can you jump without the stupid gates? Yes, you can with a jump drive. Pirate Alley tends to see a ton of fleet actions. Mm. Cool. Are there xenomorphs? New, no, mercifully. Am I playing solo? Indeed, it's a single player game, uh, Beeg. So it's a big single player aquarium. Hello. You are an Argon Mercury. Please be cheap. That's what I really need. Transmitting information. What the fuck? 8.3 million! Your ship is worth 100 grand at best, sir. You cheeky bastard. Good lord. Ships are much more expensive for the base cost. Really? I hope not, otherwise we're going to be here for years grinding this shit. Entering system, Atreus's clouds. Right, let's have a look around then. Um, oh no, it's still one jump away from the pirate sector. Whoops. Ah dear. Eh, have a little bit. Hang on. Right, so we're just going to head to the pirate sector and see if there's anything that we can steal. Any salvage from battles that will be raging constantly, because that tends to be what happens. Hmm. So yes, all of this shipping is going about its business. Oh, hello. Salvage. Wildfire missile. A wildfire missile and firefly missile. A firefly missile. Still intact. Still in the original packaging. Oh, I'm sure. Oh. Wildfire. Please tell me it's not medium. It's small. Container class Fire. small. 
Container class small. Lovely. There we go. Thank you, R. Dilly. Thank you very much, R. Dilly. Thank you kindly. Da 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 da. Ya da da da. Cargo bay now contains wildfire missile. Okay. Now we can see if we can sell these. <laughs> it's just, just some random filthy trader turns up at the shipyard. Cargo bay now ah, I fell off the back of a lorry. Fly missile. Yeah, this is all good. It's good stuff. A bit grubby, but it's fine. Gate Farnham's legend. Okay. Have I salvaged? No, no, I haven't found any, Connor. Yeah, don't accidentally slip on the controls and fire one. Entrance autopilot. Right. Off. Let's have a look around then. So this is pirate space now. So regular contact with military patrols, we can expect. Mm hmm. No other ships at all, surprisingly. Oh, hello, Argon Recon. Right. Hmm. Um. Well, I I have done. Um, Iral de Ura. Yeah, I've played Tarkov. A while ago, though. It was alright. You can buy and deploy those OWPs in... I don't know what that means, sorry. In and Ra. Right. Where are we now? Ooh. Argon border. Okay. Let's see if there's anything around. Oh, orbital weapons platforms. Ah, cool. Drone factory. Nice. Hmm. Um, not enough clips yet, Araldo. For Tarkov, I mean. Got some, but not enough. Alas, I can't make the funny happen. It's, uh, well unscripted and sporadic so <laughs> oh part of me okay lots of yeah lots and lots of argon here we are scanned hello we scanned your ship and you are clear mm. of illegal goods you may continue with your journey <laughs> yeah don't ignore the you know the, the salvaged argon military gear in the back fell off the back of a space lorry it's fine Yes, hopefully. Kited, uh, kited. I've got enough highlights for a swap bullshittery, certainly. Mm. Have I played Fable? Yes, indeed. I have, uh, H H Kate. Enter autopilot off. Right, anything else to steal? Where are we now? President's End. If we keep moving south, I'm pretty sure we'll get to our uh, Paranid space. Uh, Argon military patrol. Ooh, big military presence here. Silicon mine with a combat mission. Thank you, Billy. Thank you very much, Billy. <laughs> Imagine if I find a hammer, a hammer heavy torpedo or something. Debris. Debris. Nuclear tipped. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Style. Welcome indeed, Style. Thank you, Billy, again. Thank you. Right. Indeed. Uh, also, slaves are Ill illegal as well. Uh, space fuel, so uh, illegally distilled alcohol, is Ill is illegal. Space weed is illegal. Um, there's a few things that are illegal. I think it depends on which uh, nation you're with. Um, I'm looking for any debris, Tom. Debris left over from any contact with pirate ships. Uh, the chat is right. I can actually head to an active war front in order to um, really find some military gear. But it's quite some distance away, frankly. Uh, 
Um, the other save is still fine, DJ. It's all backed up for when I want to return to it. The catering company. Ooh, it's another corporate headquarters over here. Who's this then? So this is Cloud Base Southeast. Oh no, wait, sorry, isn't it? It's the the shipyard. Is that what they look like now? Did they? Oh no, sorry, they've always looked like that. Yeah, this is the this is dead end. I've gone I've gone the wrong way. Yes, apparently, GB. Yeah, the gates are now warp blobs. Oh, don't into the bliss. I feel bad enough already. I've, I've, the, 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 the bottom of the barrel here, folks. I'm, I'm scraping, you know, the the remains of better ships. I'm, I'm getting their leavings, effectively. I feel terrible. Every corporation has to start somewhere, and pretty soon, I have no doubt, I'm going to receive a message from that opposing corporation telling me that they've just bought a destroyer or something. So that other corporation is like that, you know, the neighbour who's showing off that he's bought that fancy new barbecue. And how has your week been? Well, I tried to get rid of the cockroaches from the house. Failed. Right. <laughs> yeah, get it exactly, getting flexed on by the AI. <laughs> Why don't I get a small loan of a million? If only that was so. <laughs> Wait, is it so? Is that a thing? Lo are loans now a thing? Okay. Argon oh, security. Let's head down to... So beyond... Yeah, we'll go this way. If we go down here, then take a left in space, left, will reach Paranid space. Occasionally the Argon and the Paranid have border disputes. It never really boils into full-scale war, but the two of them don't like each other very much. Hmm. Oh, I see, it's a it's a Trump joke, is it? Ah. Thank you, the one with the moustache. Thank you very much. Thank you. Entering system, Cloud Bay Southwest. Right, let's head that way towards Paranid Space. Let's hope the Paranid like me. Hmm. Uh, yes, I have Enin Ra. They're, they're switched on. That's the corporation I mentioned that's flexing on me. Well, one of their subsidiaries called like the Titty Sprinkle Corporation or something. I wasn't really paying attention. Emperor Mines. There we go. Hmm. Autopilot off. Does this game have VR support? I bloody well bloody well hope not. I'd be puking my guts out. Because of this. <laughs> Ah, the moment battle begins. Ah. <laughs> then don't do that. Large orbital weapons platform. Sure, I'll just tell the enemy to sit still, will I? I'm sure they'll I'm sure they'll, you know cooperate. So Paranid Security, hang on a second. Where are they going then? Paranid security, Paranid border control. Are they going into Argon space? Is there going to be a fight? Maybe. Maybe save it. Follow them. See what happens. Right. <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay. Docking with the Paranid Station. In the name of Priest Emperor Zar, our Priest Duke welcomes you aboard. Connection to local. Oops. Tell me to do that. Save. Cool. Hi there, Jelly. Welcome indeed, Jellybine. Right, hang on a tick. Right. The departure for the transport to Ringo Moon has been delayed. It's been delayed. Uh, a little bit on engine, engine tuning. tuning in the Just so I can go a bit faster. You have gained recognition. Mm. 272 meters per second. Not bad at all. Right. Let's have a look then. So is there going to be a fight? I saw... Gate Cloud Bay Southwest. Hang on, let's go this way. I saw a border patrol, paranoid border patrol. Are they going through? Damn it, I don't have a, any sort of remote viewing. That's a shame. Paranoid high tech transporter. No, I think they're just border patrol. They're not moving. I'll just stick my head through the gate and see if they are. Hang on. A bit, a bit more, Mantazo. A little bit more. Entering system, Cloud Bay Southwest. Paranid Argon. New. No. Alright. Hello, Argon Buster Raider. Are you for sale? What's fighting you? Patching through the information. Two million. Now? Nah. Alright, we'll head over to Argon Prime. Where's the gate? Oh, Jesus, there it is. Entering system, Emperor Mines. Okay. For the people just joining the stream, I'm, um, yes, I'm a bit of a, a, a space, um, uh, I'm, I'm trying to find the right word for it, a uh, vulture, I guess? Less than that, like a, 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 like a dung beetle. I'm going around sort of sifting through the refuse of the other races trying to find, is that a missile? What's that over there? Is that just an engine wash or is that a missile? I'm just, uh. Paranid high-tech transporter. Yeah, I'm looking for uh, derelicts or missiles or things that have been dumped by their transports. Stuff that I can salvage slash steal. Because I don't have the cargo space to do <laughs> much else. Okay, we're back in Paranid Prime. What's a fun horse color, birdie? What? Entering autopilot off. Okay. Welcome to Paranid Prime. Oh, it's not as orange. Really? They got rid of the orange. No. I miss the orange. Okay, so. Paranid military. Lots and lots of Paranid military. Any sign of fighting? Hmm. <laughs> Birdie's drawing some whole fast stuff. Digby is getting the pink horse, but you're trying to think of what colour the other two horses are gonna be. Brown? Surely? Sell the missiles at the equipment dock. Could do. Might get a better price at the Argon one. There's barely any traffic. Blimey, yeah. Eight priest rings. Right, um, let's have a look at the equipment dock then. Will they even let me land? Can I sell what I've, so what did I pick up again? A wildfire missile, wasn't it? In my freight? Wildfire and a firefly. Paranoid equipment dog. Okay. Wildfire. Okay. And a... Oh, I can't sell the Firefly. See if I can sell it. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 
Am I going to do a sleep stream like all the hip and trendy streamers are? Well, like Neville did. We just had him on TeamSpeak snoring loudly. Successfully In the name of Priest Emperor okay. Zar, our Priest Duke, welcome Oh, that's a bad sign. Oh no, I can sell it. Ooh! Okay! For 23,580... Oh! Okay! A single wildfire missile sells for 23 and a half grand. Wildfire missile sold. What about the firefly? That's something. Okay. Profit. Success. And the other one is a firefly missile, the fastest of the dumbfire missiles. Who manufactured this? Um Okay. Is that an Ar is that an Argon weapon? Ooh. Hang on. Argon Prime. Oh my god. Are they all... Oh, <laughs> just... oh wow, that, that's so much easier. They're not scattered out of shape anymore, right? I can cycle through them quickly with the arrows. Oh, that's nice. Um, anyway, sorry. Um, Argon Space. Firefly? Firefly Missile. Back to Argon Space we go. Okay. Whee! Can I access the Paranid Stock Exchange? Uh, the High Priest Duke has authorized individuals of the Paranid Notoriety. Oh, uh, I see. Because I'm not a Paranid. Right, so I can't access it immediately either. God damn it. The Argon say, go away, you're too poor. The Paranid say, go away, you're the wrong race. Terrible. Terrible universe. Terrible. Thank you, Turboba. Thank you very much, Turboba. And Xiphon. Thank you very much, Xiphon. You are talking to the automated What's he selling? Oh, nah. 613,000. Um, right, so back to Argon Prime. Back to the equipment dock. Let's go. Hmm. Can I show you the ship from the outside? Indeed. I'm a shitty little paranid ship. Cool exhaust, though. Alright. Am I winning? Nope. Thank you, Yellot. Thank you very much, Yellot. Thank you. Entering system, Cloud Bay Southwest. Um, I... Celio, see, I enjoy it, but it's got a hell of a difficulty curve that you've got to get over once, once in, in, until the game opens up and becomes fun. So, maybe, but if I'm being brutally honest, the time that it takes to get into into it and have it all expand and be interesting, it's it's, it's too much. The time investment is massive. It's a very slow burn game, very slow burn. Um, right, keep going. Speed up the time. So we're going to fly back to the home world of the Argon, sell this missile, then probably call it a night. What do you have to do in the game? Well, it's a big aquarium, so really whatever you want. Um, in the sense that all these factions and corporations are going about trading regardless. They just ignore you. They're doing their own thing. So you can come in here and make your own corporation. Starting small, very small in my case, with one ship... Then eventually getting getting enough money through scrimping and saving to get a second ship. And then get a jump drive so you can move quickly. Then a third ship. Then before you know it, you've got 10, then 20. Then you buy your own space station. You're sort of building a corporation from the ground up. In the last playthrough that I was doing this morning, I had a catering corporation that was making tens of millions of credits an hour. Thank you, the science guy. Thank you very much, the science guy. Thank you. Entering system, home of light. So right now I'm just flying one jump up to Argon Prime. In a couple of weeks, uh, weeks, uh, Blitz. Working on the latest bullshittery now. Need to keep my eyes open for any space combat going on. Possibility for salvage.
Oh, th uh, thank you for the 12 months, science guy. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Oh, Jesus, ne nearly had a collision at, at speed there. <laughs> okay. What's the business model this time? Well, right now, scavenging refuse. <laughs> it's not clear right now. Successfully on behalf of our president and senator, Beggars our can't be choosers. 16,000. Nice. Ah. Oh, cool. So we're up to 52,000 52, credits. Okay. Right. Some progress then. Uh, a particle accelerator cannon is 70 grand. Impulse ray emitter is 23. Okay. Um, engine tuning. How much would it cost me to do it all? It massively speeds up the engine. So 52,000. Uh, spend 9,000 just to up the speed of the ship so we can get around a bit faster. Jump drive will cost me 100 grand. The jump drive is the thing that I really want. If I can get the jump drive, I can get around super quick. Um, how much would it cost me to get a Mercury? Argon Prime. Federal Argon Shipyard. Damn, I can't check the prices remotely. <sighs> I could get the trading... So uh, seems a little pointless, doesn't it, to get the trading software extension. I don't have the cargo bay to back it up. Yes, indeed, uh, Trot Trotsky. What I really need is a transport vessel, something with a bit of space. Okay. What now? What now? Scavenge for more missiles? We could make a break straight for the war zone. What do you think? Go all the way to the flipping the battle that's ongoing? Seems a bit crazy. Might not. Oh, fuck it. Let's do it. No guts, no glory, eh? Hang on. Even though I said I'm going to go to bed. In a bit. Hang on. Right. At least I've got some speed now. Woo! 354 meters per second. We are quick. Right, so through to the wall we go. <laughs> Action? No. One missile and I'm toast. Thank you, Flying Mines. Thank you very much, Flying Mines. Whoop. But at least we're fast. Autopilot off. Um, okay. Then we're going to go uh, up to the hole. Address, which way would be the faster way? We'll go through the hole. The hole. Uh, maybe Autopilot you're right. Off. Fuck it. Hang on. Let's go back to the... Yeah, let's, let's up the engine tuning all the way up. Federal Argon Shipyard. Autopilot activated. Get the engine tuning all the way up, then we can at least move quickly. Entering system. Argon Prime. Autopilot Two. off. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Right. What's the goal of the game? Build your own corporation. Space corporation. In space. Whoop. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, Engine tuning. I have 43,000 credits. This will cost me 21,000. <sighs> okay. Engine tuning there we go. But I'll now be able to move at 477 meters per second. But not too bad. L at least we're quick, eh? Incoming message. Okay, now the AI is going to flex on me. Entering system, the wall. So, yes, okay, AI, what have you got now then, eh? Incoming message. So, the opposing, whoops, the opposing corporation. Um, okay, so they now have three free trading agents, two sales representatives for their one factory, 57 military assets. I don't know what that means. Corporation index, maybe? Okay. 57 military assets. 
Oh, oh, is that a missile? That's a no. MMC nah. freight transporter. I thought it was a missile wash. Thank you, Shungui. And hi there, Dinkle. Thank you, Dinkle. Thank you very much. This looks complicated. You're going to pretend you know what you're doing. Me too. The hole. Me too. Right. So effectively, uh, Dinkle, the idea is that we're to build a space corporation. However, I've selected a starting playthrough which involves an absolute shit show of a ship with um, with literally not enough money money to repair it if it gets damaged. Um, it's gotten to the point where, no joke, I'm actually going to a war zone so that I can steal the pieces of debris that break off the ships that are fighting. So the actual people that have their shit together, I'm I'm the little, like, the beetle, the dung beetle, scooting beneath their feet, Rocks, fate. grabbing whatever refuse they, they drop. It's that bad. So I'm looking for, like, missile systems, pieces of equipment, anything that's that vaguely breaks off a decent ship is like dibs. Five second rule. Okay, so keep my eyes open for any anything dropped by any ship. Am I going the wrong way? Question. I'm going through split space. Is that wise? Split space are basically like the Klingons. They are a bit trigger happy. Out of my way! Whoosh! Entering system. Isn't pro profiteering from, from war wreckage considered a war crime? Only if you get caught! Why do you think we upgraded the engines? Okay, so I'm heading roughly in the direction of the of the Terran conflict. Okay, so we've entered Taladi space. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure which way is the right way. Just keep going till we find enemies, I guess. Hmm. How do I know where the war is? Previous playthroughs. It's taking place around, um, well... The Terran sectors of space to the east. Gate, game. Am I winning? Nope. Nope, not at all, Dinkle. Entering this In fact, off. this this mod that I'm playing adds a a corporation whose sole purpose is to be my foil, and they've already got like a million ships and their own space station, and they've got like way more money. They're like the neighbour leaning over the fence to talk about their sports car that they just purchased. And I'm sitting there with, like, my rake. Thank you, Velusa. Thank you very much, Velusa. Thank you. Well, you know, Dinkle, you got you got to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. That's what, it, that's what it's all about, Dinkle. Those bootstraps. Jesus Christ. Lots of shipping. Ooh. Teladi, military, Emios. Ooh, that was cool. Cool looking ships. Okay, so we'll get straight past the Teladi. Like so. Out of my way, out of my way. I'm in a hurry. There's stuff to steal, hopefully. Whoop. Good point, it is past my bedtime. Entering system, shareholders, fortune. Just don't tell my boss, okay? Right. Do, 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 do. <laughs> we are your boss. Well don't tell yourself then. Oh, 
energetic bum, can I stay up late to play computer games instead of working? Please. Entering system, Minds of Fortune. Mm-hmm. Hello. Talaji Discoverer for sale. The information you require. Two and a half million. Jesus Christ. These prices are mental. Not buying that. It's crazy. Crazy price. Okay. Uh, where's the gate? There's no west gate? We go south now. Okay. Yeah, I'm worried that I'm indeed creeping quite close to split space. Which could be a huge problem. Could the split have lots and lots of pirates? With very fast ships. Thank you, Narkson. Thank you very much, Narkson. Thank you. Um, I might Entering system, home of pop, pop the music back on. Video. Hang on a second. Let's put on some solar fields. There we go. Whoops. Okay. Ooh, hello. Okay. What's this? Are we in split space? Uh, home. Nope. Still in Taladi space. Taladi border space. Uh, okay. We'll go through the south gate. Whoops. Taking bets. I'm flying for an hour. I get deleted by split warship. <laughs> Maybe. I'm, I'm, I'm betting Terrans, frankly. Terracorp. High tech. Terracorp? You're that, you're this far out? Okay. Entering system. Family. Tkur. Okay, now this is split space. Now we best be careful, eh? Yeah, pirates are going to be everywhere. Because those pirates are often sanctioned by their government. Hmm. Split small orbital weapons platform. Okay. Keep our eyes open for any weapons that we can pinch. But try to stay out of trouble, eh? Oh, Jesus, was that a shot? It's probably a space fly. Okay. What was that? What was that, that thing that shot past my screen? Enter autopilot off. Right. I don't truly know if this is the correct way. I think it's scale a uh, scale plate green or something. When we get there, that's probably the right direction towards the war front. Just hope we don't go into any Xenon space, then I will be in serious trouble. Although I might be able to outpace the Xenon now. Right. Jin's escape. <laughs> Entering system, Jin's escape, autopilot Okay, off. everything's green for some reason. Thank you, Ninja Lantern. Thank you very much, Ninja. Thank you. Much appreciated. Got full speed. <sighs> but yeah, I hope everyone's okay. Hope you're having a nice Monday. Mm. Hi there, Kinslayer. Hello. Gate. He loves joy. Okay. Thank you, Red Avatar. Thank you very much. Enter autopilot off. He loves joy. Where the fuck are we? Oh, crap. Don't know where we are. Maybe we should stop and save it before I get mur murderized. Boron. Large orbital weapons platform. Boron? There's Boron space here? What the fuck am I? Military outpost docking grand. Okay. Autopilot active. Somehow the boar on it here. Okay. Whoop. Successfully. There we go. Queen Atria 
Morpheus and the Kingdom of Boron bid you a peaceful welcome aboard. Connection to local trading. Giving it a save. Alright. Hmm. Whoops. Please remember to return your depleted. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> Might need to wake her up in a minute. She sleeps now. She won't sleep the full night. Okay, so I gave it a save, and now I'm, now I'm flying off. So where to now? Where's where's the next? Where have I gone down a dead end? No, over there, the, the next gate. So we're looking for the Terran conflict, the name of the expansion, and the wharf, the the front, the battle. We're not there to assist. We're there to scavenge. If we can get like a missile system or something. Ooh, Boron military. Okay. Entering system, Ocean of Fantasy. Uh, not familiar, Manku, I'm afraid. Sorry. Uh, where to now? North gate? Is there a south gate? There is a south gate. I think this, I think it's the south gate I probably want. Looking for scale plate green. The Terran conflict started in Omicron Lyry. All right. Welcome indeed, Happy. Welcome indeed. Entering system. Family right. What's this? Split border world. Okay. Where's the other gate? Is it there? There it is. Yeah, are these space flies? See the orange shit darting around? Hmm, weird. We'll go over there. Oh, it started at Heretic's End. Hmm. Regardless, the militaries of the Argon, I believe the Boron and the Teladi, are constantly fighting it out over there uh, against the Terrans, so the other faction of humans. And I think the Terrans are also supported by a major corporation called Otis or something. It's a, it's a, it's a big battlefield where lots of ships get destroyed, and there's plenty of opportunity for space profit. For lots of weapon systems need to be purchased. Thank you, Serpent Mythos and uh, Moradorian. Family Zayard. Thank you very much. Oh, hello. Did you send me a thing? I can't respond right now. Okay. Where's the next jump gate? Jump gate. Hopefully I haven't gone down a dead end. That's possible. Have I gone down a dead end? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, hang on. Piss flaps. Dead end? See no jump gate. That's the north gate. What's here? <sighs> Shit. All right. Dead end. Family ride. Okay, fly through. Fam uh, where's the map? Hang on, sorry. Uh, Albion Prelude map. Hold up a second. Family, where is this? Family Zythe. What? Doesn't exist? Uh. Entering system. Family right. Where the hell am I? <laughs> Hang on a second. Ocean of Fantasy. Where the actual hell have I flown right now? Uh, ocean. <laughs> I, have, um, I have no idea where I am. Um, oh, hang on, ocean of fantasy. There we are. So there's the ocean of fantasy. But according to that, there's no. 
There is no south gate. What? Ocean of Hazard. Okay, hang on. Backtrack. Albion. Okay, no. I've overshot it. My, my mistake. So I should have gone back to... Right, it's okay. Um, no, it's not okay. So, oh god. If I'm... I've got to go through Xenon Sector 472. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so I've got to go back to Hiller's Joy. And then to Jin's Escape. South two sections, sections. And then a shortcut. A very shortcut. Through Xenon Sector 472. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. There's nothing to worry about at all. Oops. Okay. Um... I've got to cut through Xenon's face. I'm sure at 472 meters per second and the air escaping adding to the propulsion as I scream my lungs out will be enough to move fast enough, fast enough past the Xenon. It'll be fine. Okay, so for the people just joining the stream, I'm trying to navigate my spaceship to the war front between the Terrans Engine and the Argon. Ocean of fantasy. My hope being that I can be a, a little dung beetle and scavenge good pieces of equipment amongst the titans that are brawling. Such as missile systems, you know, that I can totally steal. Um, salvage. Hang on. Where is that? Gate. He loves joy. Okay. But in order to... So I've taken a wrong turn and I've gone all the way through split space. Through the wrong... So instead of through Chiladi space and then through a pirate sector, I've gone the north way. So in order to get back on track, I've got to go through a Xenon sector. Which uh, the Xenon are, are very anti-organic. Very, a li little bit anti-organic. Little bit. Right, so from Healer's Joy, we go to Jin's Escape. Nope. What the? Gate, Jin's Escape. Okay. Then south twice. Okay. Uh, I don't know, Stray Deer. I don't know. There we go. That's our gate. So this is still technically the wrong way because I'm having to go through Xenon space. So this is where I go through the gate two gates from now and find a Xenon carrier right in front of me or something horrendous. <laughs> Entering system, family, mm -hmm. <laughs> Computer had trouble with that one. Family, mm -hmm. <laughs> Right. Gate finds a bit. <laughs> it's not stealing if they're dead. Well, it is stealing off that off the military that owns the equipment. The 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 soldiers don't own their gear. Okay. Autopilot on. Where is it? Is that the sector? Or is it one more jump? Split large orbital weapons uh, platform. That does not fill me with Xenon Sector 470 drone production facility. Okay. So that's Xenon Autopilot Sector <laughs> 472. Um, let's save it before we do this and get ourselves killed. Hmm? Successfully docked. All hail the family Runcar. The Split Dynasty welcomes you on board. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Connection to local trading network established. There we go. Saved, and here we go. So, um, we are going to have to be very, very fast and very fucking lucky to live through this. Here we go. So, we have to go through the south gate as quickly as we can. To get to um, 18 billion. Did I miss the gate? Missed the gate. 
So we're going to Black Hole Sun on the other side as quick as we can. Let's hope we're fast enough. Ooh. We got lucky. We got lucky indeed. Okay. In fact, wow, this is... Where are the Xenon? Xenon. Okay, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. Let's just get the fuck out of here, yeah? Wow, there's even trading going... Ooh, hello. Oh, energy cells. Sitting there. Tempting. Free energy cells. Well, they're cheap. Uh, no, leave them. It's not worth it. Right, let's get to this war front then, eh? Hey, no Xenon. Here we are. Entering system, black hole sun. Okay, now we are a short step away from the war itself. It should just be. Is it that way? Or is it this way? Oh, you're right, Lulu. Hang on, I think she. Did she fall off? You okay, honey? Did you fall off the sofa? Are you alright? Huh? Are you okay, honey? Are you alright, honey? Entering system, Nathan's voyage. Hang on. Just gave her one of her, her chewy treat things that she likes. I'll keep her distracted for a few seconds. Okay, so Nathan's voyage. Is that the jump gate over here? We're very close to the war front. So lots of military shit here, certainly. Need to watch for anything that we can steal. Very he heavy military Saint. presence. Far point. Far point? Wait. Far point? Where am I? Hang on. Nathan's Voyage. Okay, something's changed. Far point does not exist. Black Hole Sun. Hold up. Oh, wait a minute. Nathan's Voyage. Enduring Light. This place should... Okay. Something's changed. Gate. Black Hole Sun. Back to Black Hole Sun. And then it's... One jump to the west to get the treasure chest. And then it's Omic Omicron Lyrie. Hmm. Autopilot off. There, I missed it. It was just it was just blue. Here we go. Right. Gate treasure chest. Yeah, this is the war. Please don't get killed immediately. And autopilot off. This is one of the disputed f treasure chests are gone. Okay. So we can expect Terrans around here somewhere. Unless the mod has changed something. So this should be the war front. Lots of military shit around here. Try not to get in the way. Omicron Lyrie. Omicron Lyrie, here we go. This should be it, this should be the front line. Autopilot Oh, it's pink now. It wasn't pink before. Okay. Any fighting going on? Is the war on? Did something change? The Terran should be coming through there. Where's the war? Circle of labor. Hmm. Hmm. 
No, no. The Terran conflict. It, it's in Albion Prelude. Code Codeski. Autopilot off. Okay, so no war? No fighting? All this military, but no fighting? Where are the Terrans? The gate should be here, right? Ah! Oh. It's... they're gone. There's no gate, look! The Terrans aren't here. Oh, that's a pity. There is no fight. Military forces in Lit Cube are focused on small tunnels of sectors around the east edge of the universe. They're holding off something horrible. Right. Oh, I see. So the warfront's different now, is it? So it's no longer against the Terrans. It's over here somewhere. Bugger. Bugger, 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 bugger. So my hopes of being a scavenger and sneaking into steel shit has been thwarted by the fact that there's nothing here to steal. Oh well. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Guess that means no Terrans either, because their gate should be there, but it's not. Oh. Right, okay. Thank you, Sheepish. Thank you very much, Sheepish. So I'll probably best leave it there then. If I, if I go dock with this ore mine and save. But yeah, so that's the first, yeah, fresh start on, well, a, a corporation that has nothing. I've only got this ship and the clothes on my, on my back and that's it. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation welcomes <laughs> friends aboard. Connection to local trading okay. network established. I'm gonna, gonna give it a save. Right, hold up. Hang on, just popping out of the uh, out of the game. Right. Okay, cool. Oh, hang on, turn that down for now. Right, thank you for watching, folks. Thank you kindly. That was a bit of X3 Albion Prelude with the Lit Cube. Is it Lit Cube? Sorry. Um, yes, the, that mod pack that I've downloaded. Um, so before I go, so please know that I'm working on Rising Storm Vietnam Bullshittery Part Two. It is the end of editing day 11 out of a schedule 20. So far, so good. I'm just working away to try and get it done. Yes. Are you a smelly girl? Yes, you are. She stinks, blimey. Must have eaten something. Okay. So, um, yes, I hope you have a lovely evening. I hope you all sleep well. I'm sure I'll be back tomorrow for something. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go straight to bed, I think. Okay, so... <sighs> who's on? So, Zeiss and Beastie are both on. Zeiss is playing uh, Rimworld and Beastie is playing Counter-Strike. Um, okay, I'm going to hand you over to Zeiss then. So, yeah, Zeiss is building stuff in Rimworld. I, I'll, yeah, I'll leave it up to him to walk you through what he's doing thank you small bacon thank you very much small bacon so yeah take care folks have a lovely evening if i don't catch you again have a lovely week and uh yeah take care sleep well <laughs>